sideways, boys in the days. On a Sunday night, I might paint me some maids. Baby OJs, oh, they going crazy. Some say I'm lazy, wanna have my baby. Ain't gonna get me locked down, I can't get locked. Hold my clock, I'ma come down. Hustling rocks on my block, cause they gon' pay. Wanna make my fitty. Keep the beast steady, drop your drop on the belly. Make your trunk wave, keep your corner paid. Make that trunk wave from the crater to the grave. Be a screw you, what you wanna do? Let me come down, told you got his crew. Got my whole clique, got the come down. I'm a way drunk, I'm a gone, so survive. I'm a hit on the dice, gotta keep it nice. Bring a spice, riding in the bread blaze. Them popped up twice, wood stripped out of gold. Letting them boys know, I'm a hot body with the crease in my clothes. Chain on my neck, rocks up on my wrist. Dirt up in my fist, got a partner named Chris. Moving keys, let me chop a dime. In my safe, I got a key and a pine. Pine of the weed, I got a quarter eyes. I had to hit the boulevard, they my drop by. I had the three wheel on the pole. Let them boys know. I'ma hit the boulevard slow and tiptoe With that boy Fleming, yellow bone women Got the come through, real sexy, and not skinny Don't want no big fat bitch Can't let that whole ride with me on the switch Gotta be player, gotta be a star I'ma let you smoke my weed, sip on my bar We gon' do it right, get a room later Ain't no hater, pay fader Hit the boulevard when the bounce rock is later I'ma crawl like a tater, got my grill Let me come through, pint bottle, steady seal Sitting in my boat, cases got cold Had to come down, got a partner named Wow. That's that boy Walter, I done had a daughter Rocked up a quarter, through on my damn starter It done got cold, money done unfold Let me come down with the wood mo-mo That's the wood wheel, I'ma pop a pill House on the hill, got my mind on my meal On a mission trying to get rich Down to hit a switch Let me come down, all for a nasty bitch All up in your face Riding got bass, late night on the wood screw with the brace, acting bad with the judge, Joe on the cut, got that PAT, finna slap another slut, Lil Kiki, that KK in that hoe, boy be talking down, now I watch that boy balkin', that's that boy bird, Prop 73rd, letting them boys know we going fed, what you heard, got that little three and the dance off that body, got that boy Joe thinking Maserati, got that screw zoo, banging behind tent, windows tinted, I'm a slow fuck with speed limit, let them boys know, flip phone, I be folding up, feeling them for a ride with petroleum, I got a ride on board, got the brain to know, real McCoy, gotta hit me a lick in Detroit, some in Alabama, some down in Asia, I'm a dupe right, move the cheese on the page. Like a train marine, I'm on a mission for my weapon. When a nigga step, a nigga ain't no weapon in my corner. Cause you's a donor, I spoke in marijuana. Broke a mouth when I snatched my diploma. I walked across the stage, I turned the page. No momentum away, and my corner got paid. Kept steady, kept steady. My partner named Reggie. I'm 330, so niggas say I'm heavy. Hitting real hard. Never did broad, fat ass nigga, we'll fuck the yellow broad, or you black, or you prime, I let my top die, swing and swing, and then my diamond gonna shine in my mind, from the side, what you talking by, the haters rolling up, so I got my black eye, I ain't no hoe, let them know, I'm finna erupt like a volcano, me and my partner say no, run G, it's the run instead of smoking dungeon, I'ma come down, Money, bouncing like a bunny, I'm bouncing like a rabbit, boys wanna have it, breaking boys out two times, dang damn it, let me hurt em. the hater hurt em. on a mission, I got to come down, knocked off a politician, knocked off a judge, knocked off a lawyer, now I'm coming down, I hooked up with Tom Sawyer, hooked up with some boys back in the game, I'ma show them boys.
Are we gonna have in this fucking playthrough? How many times will we do the time warp again? You know it's coming. Let's do the time warp again. Stay the fuck back. Let's do the time warp again. We will defend ourselves. We it's just a jump to the left. Man, do I hate this part of this song? We're talking about fucking TV on board. He's right out. I say TV is not a TV. It's not a TV right now. It's the only thing I got a real uh, speaker built in, which is odd. Right. And this is way too loud, too. Thank God it's almost over, but I hate, I hate that part of that song. I want to find an original. An original do exist, but I kind of don't really know where it is. Meaning I spent like 20 seconds to look for it. Can I use this layout? Yeah, Keck in here. Very nice. I was gonna play this for the pre-stream, but then I remembered it was June 27th and was like, oh yeah. So I guess we, we have to watch this in the start of the stream. A fantastic video uploaded by the Area Lord in 2012, February 15th. So she was like a brand new girlfriend and he named it Interview Hour, Panda Lee. It's not a good video. If you expect it to be a good video, you, got, you should be disappointed already. After waiting for the Twisted Metal service to go back up and DSPs returned from buying food, wow, I interviewed Dox DeFil's girlfriend, Leanne, about Leanne, by the way, about some of the common questions she has received after being revealed on YouTube. Oh, yeah, uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. So you got your rate, comment, very nice. And I'm already subscribed, big fucking ups. Desperate and lose your mind, you go on fatal attraction on someone's ass. Yeah. Wait, you still can bail again? Did you watch any of these videos? Did you get a fucked up? Hell no, I never even subscribed to her. <laughs> I never subscribed to her. I never watched any of her videos. I never watched her videos because I always, I watched every single one of DSP's videos, so why would I bother watching hers? I already know what happens. Yeah, every single one of DSP's videos. Jesus, you must have, you must have a lot of free time to watch all of DSP's videos. Wait a minute. 
I do. Every time I'm on the internet, I bring up a video. If it's Very a long time I'm not a fan of, I kind of mute it or turn the volume down while doing other stuff. Understandable. You can tell he eating food during this, by the way. I don't sleep often. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Listen to this cowgirl eating. I sat through every single part of Epic Mickey. <laughs> yeah. Why do you think he was so open with you when you sent him that message? Why do you think he was so open with you? You know, honestly, I have no clue. I think he was so open. <laughs> yeah. Why do you think he was so open with you when you sent him that message? Why do you think he was so open with you? You know, honestly, I have no clue. I didn't even rip that he liked me until we started. Wait a minute. I was fucking wrong. <laughs> what is this discussion we're having? Uh, talking on the phone, then I, then I kind of suspected, and but I really had no idea. All right, then maybe I shouldn't have skipped around and try to see if this is a good video or not earlier. Uh, well, well, there you yeah. go. Well, what happened was after like three or four messages, <laughs> oh, he gave me an email, I gave him mine. Started... P-A-A-R-D oh, underscore God, word name. underscore gap pipe tipped five dollars. Hey, I got my money back. Don't, Here's don't this your mean, share. Like, what did the name mean? Cats, no, horses blowing pigs or something? I think so. I think so. Thank you for five dollars. And uh, good job, good job winning your chargeback. And a uh, horse style for two dollars earlier. Oh God, when Cat and Dave do the business, I bet they do a doggy style so she doesn't have to look his, at his great patchy goatee. And he doesn't have to look at her buck teeth. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. She's uh, extremely attractive. She could be a supermodel. And she likes his goatee because it's manly. And, uh, you know what I mean? Exactly. You know what I mean. We email each other and then eventually... Candle used to like it too. To Obviously. Me, so we started texting and now we text every day. After that, he gave up well, he, he well. I didn't stop this so much. Why do you think... Except kind of muted or... I do. Every time I'm on the internet, I bring up a video. If it's a walkthrough, I'm not a fan of. I kind of mute it or turn the volume down while doing other stuff. Understandable. I don't sleep often. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Why do you think... I sat through every single part of Epic Mickey. <laughs> yeah. Why do you think he was so open with you when you sent him that message? Why do you think he was so open with you? You know, honestly, I have no clue. I didn't even rip that he liked me. BSP definitely didn't like Pandalee. She was an existing human lady. <laughs> Until we started talking on the phone. Then I, I, don't, then I kind of suspected How would he have and, liked you, Pandalee? I really had no idea. Random YouTube you message lady. Uh, well, yeah, well, what happened was after like three or four messages, he gave me his email, I gave him mine, we started emailing each other, and then eventually after that, he wanted to text me, so oh. we started texting, and now we text every day. <laughs> Very nice. Nice. Very nice. So exciting. It is. Now, how old are you? Are you Phil's age, or are you younger? Uh, I'm younger than Phil, but... Phil's age, or are you younger? Uh, I'm younger than Phil. Are you Phil's age or are you younger? Ah, uh, I'm younger than Phil. No, duh. But I'm older than you. <laughs> Good way to put it. Wasn't that literally barely true? Because Area Law was 17 when he met DSP. <laughs> so that was barely, 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 barely true. Supermodel girlfriend tipped five dollars. Handily sounds like she's talking through a microwave. I am truly jealous. Dave got a kitten all over that weird he got face to and rainbows. All over the weird face. That's terrible. They could put a five dollars. Supermodel girlfriend. Blessed be his name. Amen. It's been a while since I played, played that clip. Some, some guy what is on this the, video? On the reveal video commented that I looked like I probably watched age. this whole thing before <laughs> a long time ago and I didn't pay attention to it. Probably played played in Freedom Chat. Video comments that it looks like an old Asian woman, so <laughs> yeah, they're all immature. Don't don't pay attention to DSP fans, they're fucking idiots. A lot of Wait, them huh? are fucking idiots. I thought it was hilarious. 
pay attention to DSP. An old Asian woman. And then imagine I wanted this to be a pre-stream video and I didn't want to pause and stuff. What's going on here? So. Yeah, they're all immature. Don't don't pay attention to DSP fans. They're fucking idiots. A lot of them are fucking idiots. I thought it was hilarious. I actually thought, I thought I'd be offended by something, but honestly, I am laughing to... Why am I toxic? Seriously, they're so ridiculous. You have every right to. Ariel Law was being toxified. What's going on here? That's funny though. Uh, but they all have like the same insults anyway. I figured she'd have bigger boobs. I figured she'd be taller. I figured she wouldn't have glass. I figured she'd be blonde. I figured she'd be Asian. I'm eating food right now, by the way. I figured she wouldn't be Asian. I can't win with them, but yeah. Oh wow. I'm the one dating Phil and not them, so. <laughs> Are you ever gonna go to a gaming convention with them? You like their little laugh? Yeah. Oh wow. I'm the one dating Phil and not them, so. <laughs> DSP still do that laugh to this fucking day. Are you ever day. gonna go to a gaming <laughs> convention with them? Probably. It's like an actual clown. I, mean, I would definitely consider <laughs> if you wanted to. If you wanted Panda to. Panda was go the real one of you guys. Like she was dating Phil. Okay, yeah, there's one in Massachusetts, Pax East, coming up in April. He might go to. Hmm. I know there's one in Philadelphia, like too many games or something like yep. that. I don't know. Yep. One of them's in Philadelphia. I'll definitely go to the one in Philadelphia. Oh, you must look close to them, to that place then. Yep, Allentown, that Pennsylvania. Place? No, you dumb bitch, it wasn't fraudulent. That, that is a good question. Latin How much food was the SP buying? Can you imagine that the pig roach the thirst so hard you would swear the dude just got out of the Sahara, but damn, he got to butterfly that Asian love up. Sounds good? <laughs> Sounds good, good to me, Jesus. I'm so jealous he gets all the ladies clearly cranky, bloody wasted. My God. Thank you for the dollar. Latin alphabet. I like one, uh, one of the top comments I saw. I forgot to show this earlier. Why does John Rambo hang out with these people? Can't say that anymore. Yeah. Well, I'm 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 in New England as well, so I'm in the same side. I've, I've met him I'm in person a couple off. of times. I've seen him at Magfest, at Kineticon, at New York Comic Con. I might get his mom with you there. I've seen him. Oh no. When I visited him, that's the only time I've ever seen him in person. <laughs> yeah. I've never been to a convention before, to be it's honest. Laugh. <laughs> They're pretty fun. Yeah. I mean, the cons I went to were pretty, you know, <laughs> anime cosplay. You see fucking women with half. You know, two pieces. I, I guess that's better than the goat laugh. But, you know, Manifest was more gamer oriented. You had fans and stuff. It was pretty fun. Fucking fun. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a female gamer that kind of usually stays out of conventions. I just sit at home and play the game. Hey, if you didn't know, Panda, no, I mean, uh, if you didn't know, Leanne is a female gamer. Oh, no, you dumb bitch. It wasn't fraudulent. Why? Yummy tipped one dollar. This game's great, mommy. Look, gamer. mommy, I play cowboys. Cowboys, uh. little cowboys. <laughs> no, you dumb bitch. It wasn't fraudulent. <laughs> Pig roach himself a, tipped one dollar. This is a shitty video, though. I'm gonna have to watch another talking. panda leave video. I've never again. heard of her. She's no longer oh. part of the pig roach saga. Has wherein I was born in the womb together with my soulmate Ket from my 100% Italian mother. Sound good? At least months, at least. I need to clip out a weird, weird laugh one day. I need a laugh soundboard. I could get a medica guy laugh, my laugh, just screw it, just like I got. You better take a bad. sip, you fucking sleazy <laughs> asshole. I could have my laugh, a uh, medica guy laugh, like a uh, Theo laugh, just say everybody fucking laugh. And then I can spam laughs. I mean, I do have this quality idea. Sounds good. It sounds good. Sounds good to me. Sounds good, doesn't work. Sounds good. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Sounds good. Very nice. <laughs> that are fun with my friends online. Exactly. That's right. Yeah, I'll the doll. Game, so. Apparently this is yeah. Leanne. Some weird lady he was talking, talking to back then. Back to that that online when I first like got. Drake. Not Haruka tipped three dollars and thirty-three cents. Gentlemen prefer pandas. It is no Hugh here clown face. I oh like, I like God, Hugh here clown <laughs> face. So do you think you'll be in Project uh, 7, the new website? Hey, Project 7. Oh, you made? dumb bitch, it wasn't fraudulent. Oh, yeah, they talk about Project it 7. Put Latin letters tipped one dollar. The way Rambo Ooh. spoke to her made me suspect he got all over that sweet and sour that. teriyaki chicken tenderloins. Do you know what I mean? What? 
the way they spoke to each other, they for sure bumped some uglies once or twice, okay? Uh, once or twice over the course of four years, probably so. Probably. Eh, who knows what's gonna happen with that. <laughs> You've seen the first episode, it looks pretty cool, right? I've seen the pilot and I saw the preview and it's amazing. I'd like to be involved in an episode if you ever need someone, especially a kid, My God. but... Could you imagine if Pandalee would have been put in Project 7? That would have changed his whole legacy. I don't know how useful I could actually be. Well, the way he put it to me is he said he was looking to have a lot of guest stars be on it in the future. So there's, there's a lot of, you know, uh, room there. So I don't know, maybe. Yeah, if they, if they ever need a really awkward Asian-looking non-Asian chick. <laughs> awkward. If they ever need a really awkward Asian looking non Asian chick. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Bitch! So, what are your favorite things? I want to know how many Asians have green eyes. That's what I want to know. I've never met an Asian with green this eyes. This is so becoming not worth you it. Provide. You can't even make this shit up. You seriously yeah, can't green, make I it up. Green eyes. Rare, no so. spicy sausage for me. Well, I figured that like. would give away that I'm not hey, a Hey, pretty bitches, what's going on? Well, yeah, what kind of games do you like? The spicy sausage for me, sausage for me clip is so... Like? Well, like, what are your favorite kind of games? Odd, uh, because I got different RPGs, headphones like on. Modern Warfare 3, what are your favorites? I need to pick uh, one pair of headphones and one pair of everything. I have, like, a different fucking experience every other day. I gotta say, overall, everything is kind of a little lacking to me. Yeah. Everything seems like it could be improved. When I was a kid, I was a Dreamcast PS2 girl. I love those things. I still have my original PS2. That thing is my baby. Yep. Ten years old. My Dreamcast unfortunately old. melted, but... Did you play Jack and Daxter? Uh, of course he wants to talk played, about that game. Uh, but this kid, is a interview hour of Panda Lee. A video uploaded in 2012. February 2012. Uh, 15th. So... Three days after Panda Lee was announced. That's convenient. It's a. Uh... Played Soul Calibur, Soul Blade. I played <laughs> Tekken. I played Grand Theft Auto. I played Crazy Taxi. I played Jack and Daxter. Yes. I played a little bit of everything. I love Jack and Daxter. I have the Precursor Legacy. I'm never gonna beat that damn game, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> They just came out with an HD release. Uh, Phil said he was going to try to do it, but since there are so many games coming out, he's going to have to put it off till later on. Yeah. But the, but the problem with me is when there's a game that's really super hyped, I usually won't get it, though, or I'll get it much later. It's like, I never... I never played Metal Gear Solid ever. None of the games. I never played them. Me neither. Man, I wish we would have got a playthrough of that. Played Metal nice Gear burp, everyone. Solid. No, you don't know, I'm trying to think of a really popular game I've never played. Jane I've never played. This has mad love interview video. vibes. This feels like a gamer parody of the casting couch. So anyway, Liana, can you take your shirt off for me now? I wish I had a chance with the green-eyed goddess that I can't derail the DSP stream today. You no, you dollar. dumb bitch. Mary. It wasn't fraudulent. Why? Cat Burnell tipped $1, Dear Diary. Today was a good day. Tyrone came to the gym today and let me tell you his flowers is bigger than Phil's Italian sausage. Look here. Just look. Listen. Don't blame me. I haven't had sex in ages, dude. Look here. Look here! Think of look, listen! Okay, Brunel. It's good to know that his flowers are bigger. Street Fighter. Why do I get a convenient yeah. word? Never played Street Fighter. I always stuck to Tekken and Full Caliber. Yeah, I never understood the hype around fucking Street Fighter either. I mean... It's kind of weird, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, the graphics and the gameplay and the unoriginality all, all around kind of bothers me. I did play uh, Mortal Kombat 2011, though, and I love that. Yeah, seems like a pretty good game. That was, that was a damn good game. I actually since then got Mortal Kombat Armageddon, Deception, and like one other one. I've like played Mortal Kombat like crazy lately. Yeah, well, when I was younger, I only played you know games, what? you know, like Halo. Let's go on a, oh, fuck yeah. he was a Halo guy. Let's go on a quick field trip. It shouldn't be, oh, I was about to say, did I sign out? It shouldn't be, uh, they're hard to find. <laughs>
hug quality Mortal Kombat footage. Some of the best stuff in the world. I don't think she ever played online because, you know, Pandaly. No, you dumb bitch. I love it going wasn't back to these videos every once in a while just to play like Kevin Fan 30, 40 seconds of tipped one dollar. Can y'all imagine if Dave had been able to impregnate Panda? Their kid would have been 25% Polish, 25% Italian, 25% fake Asian, 25% Frogger, and 100% Gout. <laughs> Panda laugh wa ha 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 asterisk snort. <laughs> Thank you for the dollar. Uh, Tiffin fan. You know. 14 <laughs> February 2nd, 2017. Was that really her last upload? Jesus Christ. She completely gave up on his fucking channel. Oh. No, you dumb bitch. Well, I it can't hate on I'm finishing the playthrough, what? I guess. Oh. Input Latin letters to Come on, $1. Final Fantasy X, yeah, it's a classic. Yeah. Man, he was daydreaming of deflowering the green eyed too. Asian, not Asian lowly since Five day three. Five years reasons. <laughs> The green-eyed Asian, not Asian lolly since day three. All right, let's see. Uh, number nine, why not? Fast forward to some fucking gameplay. Oh, boy, I got a good part, too. Holy fuck. Just listen. Just listen. It is amazing. Now that is fucking phenomenal content. Thank you, Pandaly, for these amazing Mortal Kombat videos. It sounds like she got acrylic nails and she typing on a keyboard. I don't know how she made this sound. Oh. Was she just smashing the, like the triggers? She did have an Xbox, yes, didn't she? No. She used DSP Xbox. I think she had a PS4 Ooh. when this came out though. I don't know. What? I tried to break out. I don't know how she made these sounds. It had to be a the it had to be an Xbox controller. Or well no, I guess a PS4 could do it too. Long. I need to find my controller. Not Maruka tipped three dollars and thirty-three cents from her Wikitubia. Despite all of this criticism, Liana has managed to make her channel grow since 2012 and has kept a mostly uh, she, positive she at Ginger over the years. Girl, all right. And she finished it off with an epic Final Fantasy X playthrough. I need to find my PlayStation controller. I want to see if I can recreate this song. Woo. Alright, you piece of shit. Get the fuck out of here. Woo. Only Quan Chi's death will abate my anger. Hanzo, no! You've earned great trust for the Shirai Ryu. Alright, so I'm gonna go with... Oh no, shit. I got both of them. Never mind. So this is the PS4. Now this is me mashing the back as much as I can it's gotta be that's that's it that's it because this is the Xbox one that's it straight up wow very nice withered sorcerer that withered sorcerer is the architect of my suffering what a selfish piece of shit he's the architect of my suffering like no one else's just saying. Oh, five years but yeah, it's uh, R2 time. and L2 on a PS4 yeah, so that can make that, that sound. Too, and he got freed, right? I, I like how before the match is too, she she warms the control up. She hidden buttons before the match even is. start. It's really spe uh, specific. I think it was the younger brother. The one that came like after the first one died. Master Hasashi. I don't know. I Let's see, I want to see if she do it for the next one. <laughs> Oh. God. Oh. A vape a nation. What the fuck is she doing here? Tipped $4 I cents. Puck Harder, do you think Dave told Ket it was a beginner's bro. trap the first time he busted a nut within five <laughs> seconds? Like, wow, D-O-O-D, how was I supposed oh, to know? Oh, that's terrible. 
<laughs> yep, she did it before the match start, definitely. It wasn't it wasn't that bad though this time. Oh god, oh god. Pandalee. How how dare you? I wonder if she uh piece of shit. if she played Mortal Kombat with her new whatever she doing now. Maybe. Probably not. God damn it, do the Probably not. You did not do the spear. Just like how that soap place never opened back up. YouTube really weirds me out when it does this. Yeah, now we I don't know how to make it do this on purpose. It just do it sometimes. Wow. I don't know why. Wow, tipped one I'm very confused right? and the fake green eyes Asian really used direct oh, capture before zero. Phil. Be really That's really right? sad. Uh, sh nope, she didn't. As, as a matter of fact, the capture card Panda Lee used was DSP oh, old capture card. He gave it to her. She used to film a fucking TV too. <laughs> because reasons. I forgot what I wanted to look up. Oh, I screw uh, it. Let me go back to this dumbass video. I'm taking too much time here. Oh, GTA. I played some of those games. I played more PS2 classics, but I changed over to the 360. Some things changed, but you know, now that I the have the background music for this, this like is stuff, so not very interactive. Games, so. That's the problem with me. If I ever do eventually do walkthroughs, there's a lot of games I would probably pass up. Like, Twisted Metal, I got also, it because Bill was getting it and I want to play it with Is him, but I otherwise, on my own, probably wouldn't have gotten it. Question mark? Yeah. I don't know, no, you dumb games. bitch, it wasn't problem. Why? Fred tipped $1.69. Love, Mary kill. Liana, Cat, Gamer, Nicole. Damn. I don't know. I feel like I answered this before, but maybe not with Game of Nicole. That's the one that's so random, I don't even know what to do with it. I guess, sure, kill him, why not? Throw him in and throw him in a lake or something. Oh, shit, that was a bad joke by accident. My bad. Uh, <laughs> Mary Panda? Ah, and uh, fuck cat, I guess? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have killed Game of the Code. I'm not a driving game person. <laughs> I, I hear you. I've never owned a single pure racing game. Like, the most racing I ever did was in, like, Saints Row or Grand Theft Auto, those crappy race missions. Yeah. F and chat for Game of the Code. <laughs> Thank you for the amazing video, everyone. Oh, God damn it, you're breaking up. Damn it. Do you oh, have any phone? encouraging words for people for Valentine's Day if they don't have a girlfriend? Wait, what? Oh, boy. Huh? Let's, let's oh, God damn it, you're breaking up. Damn it. Do you What's have any on encouraging here? words? For people for Valentine's Day, they don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> a boyfriend, especially a girlfriend. They got to glow up, dude. Day. And I can say someday Just fly across country and make her take a train. Like, I'm happy I have Bill now, but and right now, if I didn't have someone, I'd be like, whatever. But apparently, everyone has to troll the hell out of couples whenever they're single on Valentine's Day. Bill's getting the shit trolled out of them. Yeah. I like how we pretend we didn't get trolled anyway. The, uh, but at least I yeah. put the haters to silence with my existence. He, uh, but at least I yeah. put the haters to silence with my existence. He had a girlfriend. He, uh, but at least I yeah. put the haters to silence no, with my existence. No, you dumb bitch. It wasn't fraudulent. Wrong. Wow. Down forward punch tipped one dollar. Rip gamer Nicole. See you at the crossroads. F in chat. Bum, 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 bum. True. Wrong. Ain't a fucking cop. No, it's not a funny fucking meme. It's something that could get him out of here. Oh shit! I forgot I put a new clip here. Where is it? No, it's not a funny fucking meme. It's something that could ruin someone's goddamn fucking life. No, it's not a fucking funny meme. No, it's not a funny fucking meme. It's something that could ruin someone's goddamn fucking life. 
I didn't name it right. So I hit, I hit it hit it looking for something else. What the hell? But thank you for the dollar. Downfall punch. Good lord. No, it's yeah, not I mean, a fucking a funny bee. I mean, no, you don't call a candy bee. That wasn't a funny bee. That was very harmful. Wenny New Bed Sheets tipped $1.69. We're hey, just riding out with the music area a My boyfriend Dave <laughs> is doing such hard work for I his business so. and I'm all alone with my Sims. I haven't had sex in ages and I would like to try the dark side. Please savage me and give me that tang juice all when over my When are we going to end the video, Ari Lord? Do you have anything else to say, Leanne? Leanne. By the way. Leanne? Anything else to say, Leanne? <laughs> Before we uh, switch off here. <laughs> Good, uh, Leanne. Dead air. Fucking oh. microphone is a, a fucking shit. <laughs> no, I asked. I asked if you had any last words Can't to say. say. <laughs> oh, hard to tell now. She's locked out. Can she hear me? <laughs> Leanne, did you hear what I said? Leanne, did you hear me? <laughs> Leanne, please respond. Alright. Well, it's an interview. I'll see if uh, any of the fucking DSP fans want to see this. Why do we shit on DSP All fans? Right. What Hello, the fuck everybody. was that about? This is. But this is the actual point of the stream. Ugh. The area law is 2014 perspective on dogs to fail he let that one stay on his channel it's not a, as toxified as the other one i guess man these comments are probably not worth reading and i probably already read them before i would like to preface this video by saying this is not a hate video about dsp this video aims to look at dogs to fail in 2014 as a whole and discuss what he has worked with his wait what has worked with his content slash attitude and what hasn't and offer a unique way of presenting oneself, regardless of what side, he should have spelled it with a Y, what side you support. Please keep the conversation civil in the comment section. As I mentioned in the video, I am keeping them open. I won't be, but I won't be part of this, a, a part of the discussion. I've said my piece in this video. Well, that obviously wasn't true. Man. Thank you all for watching, and special thanks to the members of the SOK podcast for their support and having me on as a guest. He didn't ask me to like and rate and comment, so... I guess I'm not doing it this time. But uh, we need new bed sheets. I probably was fucking listening to the video over this earlier. Hey, Tyrone. It's me, Panda Lee. My boyfriend Dave is doing such hard work for his business, and I'm all alone with my Sims. I wonder if she plays Sims for. Pro well, I hope not. I yeah, she probably do. <laughs> I haven't had sex in ages, and I would like to try the dark side. You should you should have spelled it with the Y too. People on people missing the memes, dude. Come on. Please savage me and give me the tang juice all over my glasses. That is terrible. That is terrible. That's a good username, though. We need new bed sheets. I remember when DSP told us his bed sheets were stinky? <laughs> In between Panda and Cat, he was still sleeping on Panda mattress after she was gone. Uh... That's not true. The Aerie Lord. And whether you're watching this video because you were referred to by somebody, it was on Twitter, or you just went to my channel and you found it, regardless, welcome to the video. Um, so, the title of the video, uh, a perspective on somebody that I've known for quite a long time. Um, there is really no need for me to get into all the logistics and the backstory of how I met this individual and how <laughs> it's I. It's an hour and thirty-one minute videos, but, but you don't want to give us details. My history, how uh, dare many, you? Many times in previous Filming videos, TV. I've discussed it. How would you not give us gameplay videos, again? A second briefly, video like this, and you still don't give us gameplay. Give you guys an understanding of not even history. like uh, I don't know a demo screen, nothing. DSP, uh, Dark Side Phil, a bad. YouTuber who started doing YouTube back in 2008 when there generally weren't many people really doing gaming stuff on YouTube, as he has said in many of his vlogs and videos. But um, 
yeah, I was a, a fan of his in 2008, and I followed his content uh, throughout the years. Um, in 2011, I you know met him in person, went to a few conventions with him years after that, uh, got to know him, became a good friend of his. Um, went actually at this time last year, I actually went to his uh, his old condo, hung out with him a little bit. Uh, I've been in many co-op playthroughs of his on his channel. I've uh, been on different you know podcasts and events. We've just done a lot of stuff together, and um, I've been there for a lot of his content over the years. So. That is the general gist of it. Um, I like how he told us about that. A few days I ago, actually, house. from when I'm making this, I was on a podcast. We're just hanging out, dude. Uh, called the SOK Podcast, which stands for Sons of Kojima. It was a group of individuals who were looking for me just to give some perspective on oh Phil um, in the recent, just the recent months. And I was telling them my history with Phil and um, a couple of other points of contention. I will actually link the video because I. Assume it's not on yeah, YouTube Aaron Law last wanted, time I uh, checked, but I did, uh... It what was it? He wanted DSP to pick him up from the train back, station. Back, back, the same back, train back, station back. to pick Pandalia like up Like Drake. <laughs> Brent tipped three dollars and thirty-three cents. Come on, chat. I'm not just totally Doc, leveraging a dead friend. man for tips and pity that's Taz each get banned. Hey, wait a minute, Brent. Get out of here. Stop being negative. DSP was, a. Uh, what was the meme? It's his chat fault, somehow. Was live streamed on Hitchbox. It's never his fault, and, um, never his fault but he think everything I is fault. I will link it when I have a chance. It's really weird, dude. But, um... That was a quote I wish I would have heard uh, The main time. focus of this video, though, as I said in that interview, there are a few points Wait. I do want to address. Um, there have been a lot of people, if he, whether they what, support Spug Phil it? or they don't support Phil, over the past several months, I'd say, several weeks, who have been requesting a video like this. Just me giving my perspective on Phil, because for anyone who doesn't know, I made two different videos um, about Dark Side <laughs> Phil in the past. And they were like, they, oh, I want to hear this. They came because of different things. No, no one video had a focus. He's gonna on tell us that he deleted them. So the first one I made was my is the video everyone seems to go to when they want my opinions on Phil, the illegal one, <laughs> which is my true feelings on Dark Side Phil, which was a the video illegal I made one. Summer 2013. I have made the video private since. I have had Machinima delete the video and other people <laughs> re-uploaded it really without telling me first, and then. Somebody put the video on Daily Motion uh -oh. or whatever that other video streaming website oh, no. is. And obviously, I can't really do anything about Nothing it there. So, you know, it is what it is. But with this video being made, it's going to be a more accurate representation of what I actually think. That video no, was made yesterday. No, you dumb bitch. It wasn't was... fraudulent. I like what? how he told us he had much Input Latin time. letters tipped $1. <laughs> and now a leaked message from Kathy Ernesto. That was the video I'm I watched Kat, last time. A married 39 year old one. woman I want to unwind while my husband plays video games and cries wait, wait. about trolls I haven't had sex in ages and I'm dry and Ernesto? ready to mount. I'm ready to try the brown side. Yeehaw. Can't try to date Hispanic dudes now, apparently. Well, I guess you wouldn't have to travel that far. Some updated things about what I felt about Phil in that video. But a lot of it had to do with a personal. Um, oh shit! Personal you can re rent the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. movie. Five dollars. At the time, sweet and that's fucking why deal. I made the video. It was more and you something could personal that kind of set play me off. some random game. Go into a tangent, and it really didn't have any flow or form to it. Was that this was a the half Rocket, I that Rocket video League advertisement. A lot of people thought, oh, he wants the video taken off of YouTube because he's trying to. Be friends with Phil again. He's trying to hide his true feelings. He's trying That's exactly to be what a coward. He's trying all. to flip flop. No, that wasn't the case. I just didn't think the video was an accurate representation of what I was actually trying to convey. Sure, I made uh, some good points God, in the video, okay. but I I thought that uh, I needed to make something that was a little bit more clear, you know. So then I attempted to do that a few months later, and it was actually this time last year. And the it took him multiple months to. Fix his own opinion. Well, obviously. Uh, late December when I was no, you dumb bitch. It wasn't fraudulent. That makes so much what? sense, dude. Just don't think about Aryan it. Aryan Lord that tipped one dollar. Hey, Tevin, how's it going, brother? Just wonder when you're gonna pick me up at LSU. Taken down, though. You know where you poisoned your coworkers? Anyways, I'm here with my dad. Can't wait to hang out with you and your homies at your Section Eight housing. But thank you for the dollar, Aryan Lord. 
show also didn't have a clear focus on what I wanted to talk about. That was a very toxic girl. How dare you? All sorts of different things. My life, it was pretty much my life generally over the course of 2013. It talked about, it did talk about Dark Side Phil. There was a major segment on Phil. But then it talked about other friends. There was other things the video talked about. And it, there didn't was he really, talk about again, the SLK no in this video though? And yet again, I made that video private and I kind of just cut all ties. I wonder why this one not private. Wasn't, at the time, it just wasn't really accurate. I, I couldn't justify how I wanted to. Oh wait, my... this would have been the perfect time to use the fucking clip. No, it's not no, funny. It's fucking bitch, thing. it wasn't it's fraudulent. That ruin someone's goddamn what? fucking life. God Head damn it! juice on the sheets tipped one dollar. Dave, it's me, your wife and horse kit. Baby, we are soulmates, but we have to talk about these bed sheets. I know you what? love these sheets, but I would kid. prefer ones that don't have Sonic the Hedgehog on them or your first daughter's cherry juice. <laughs> Feels bad, man. I thought you put it all myself in that video and so Shit. over time I was like you know what this really isn't the best way to go about this so I just I made that private so I will be saying this before I actually start this video that I make right now I'm not making it private all right it's not going down no matter what anyone says whether someone supports or doesn't like Phil or whatever and any sh sh uh it's really weird that DSP had so many more interactions with this dude after this. After he made multiple, like, movie-length videos about him, kind of shitting on him, and kind of shitting on his videos. But if you hang out in a wrong chat now, he pretty much cancels you from his life. But he he dealt with Ari Law so long, and now you look at uh you look at Brian. Brian went on the SOK podcast too. I think twice, and. Dark interacts with him. But so many other people is like, oh, you, you fucking hung out in that other fucking chat or you gave money to somebody to try to make him make fun of me. Like what he did uh, with Third Eye. <laughs> he canceled him from his, he, he banned him from his life. Because he tried to no, you kind of troll bitch, him. It wasn't fraudulent. The fuck, man? Brian what? went on SOK podcast the twice and you love him. $1, Air Aid Lord, think Dark Don't Souls, think I it, mean dude. Derek, only he wishes he was actually Ket or Panda getting the penne from Dave. See you later, Derek. Shape or form. Doesn't matter. The video's staying on my channel, okay? My hope is that the video doesn't overshadow all of my content because I just made, you know, a, a couple of cool videos for my channel, Legend of Korra review, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm hoping that this nice video doesn't plugs, overshadow buddy. my content. I'm hoping that people don't continuously come to me for other Dark Side Phil videos. No. I'm not making any more after this, right? This is it. This is the final freaking one. So, I'm... Putting that out there. Also, I am not going to disable likes, dislikes, or comments on the video. So, feel free to post whatever you want. Feel free to give your opinions on whatever you want. And, um, yeah, that's the way we're going to do it. Alright? So, without further ado, let's get into the main meat of the video. I've been kind of procrastinating for six minutes now, explaining. I needed to get these ground rules out first, just so people understood the general gist of how this is going to go. Okay, and yes, before you comment, this is how I do my vlogs. I point it at my TV screen because it's easier for me to kind of explain what I'm saying. The camera, the way my camera works, the the surround, the way the voice picks up my voice, or the way the voice picks up my voice, the way the camera picks up my voice, I prefer it because it sounds louder and more vocal, so that's why I decided to do it this way. Anyway. The main focus of this video obviously is going to be Dark Side Phil, but it's going to be Phil and couldn't he just make a video with his camera and then record it locally with a capture thing and then edit like in, like the audio from the camera? That's too much effort, dude. Obviously. 2014, okay? But just what, the, the way I've seen his attitude shift in his channel, the way I've seen him handle his content on his channel, uh, what I think about it, uh, where I think he's going to go in the future, uh, and whether he will be successful or not, uh, on the current path that he's on. And I will be mentioning certain events that are well known throughout the community by people on Twitter and YouTube. People have asked me about these issues in prior months and I will elaborate on them in this video. Okay? Where's my controller? There we go. I hate when my fucking thing does that. Alright. So basically what we're going to talk about First, I want to bring people back to something that Phil said in January of 2014. It was a New Year's resolution video, and he said in the video, 
All right, and if I really want to, I can, in the description, I can link these videos if I really want to have evidence. A lot of people like it when there's direct evidence. As long as the ev evidence is truthful and not uh, tampered with or messed with for peop other people's purposes, as long as it's 100% factual to information. Back to back to back to back to back to back. So if like people Drake. would like that, I can link the video. But um, the video cents. I'm going it's to reference Lord. is a New Year's resolution video. Where Phil said in the video, he had been dealing with a lot of hate and backlash on his channel for a while. And he made a video saying how in 2014 he wants to focus on the games. Because he, he figured that in the past, it was the games and his commentary and his kind of demeanor on his channel. That was what brought success into his channel. That's what got him views. That's what got him subscribers and a pretty decent fan base, a dedicated fan base, might I add. Uh, he figured that since numbers, you know, thing, you know, his numbers were kind of dropping, he had made big changes with live streaming and direct capture, he figured that he had spent a lot of time focusing on the negativity. There's, the, if I, I've said this to my roommate, if there's any two words that Phil uses more than any word in the entire world, it's the words positivity and negativity. I mean, he has his little DS, uh, his DS positive movement, but Memphis he, talks about, he talks about it in terms of being positive or negative. It's not true. It's very black and white terms. Either something's positive or something's negative. You know, let's let's push forward positively. Let's baby. push forward, you know, positively. Good, let's man. not look at things good. in a negative light. So, at the beginning of the year, he made this statement. And he said that he was not going to focus on the negativity. No, he wasn't going to focus on people making what? rumors on Twitter. Uh, just Dark generally, I can say. People not making rumors on Twitter. Dark tips one dollar. Arcade stick is harder to learn people than mouse and keyboard. Certain things. I was blacking at Kakik. I had the cherry juice. There was nothing I could do. Ah, oh, come on, dude. I tried appearing offline, but gout still came through. B o o l s h e i t. No, you dumb bitch. It wasn't fraudulent. Why? Nasushi tipped one dollar, tweeted ya another DSP fan art. Hopefully he unblocks me for this one sad face. I died from nothing, nothing even hit me. In his channel in regards to, you know, oh, you don't like your fans, you do everything for the money. There were just general rumors on his channel that he wanted to kind of knock down and um, get rid of. And, um... He didn't, obviously he didn't like people talking about those things on his channel, and he wanted to not focus on them. Well, that's the gist I got, because, you know, I've watched the video, that and I disgusting. also, when I went over his house, I suggested to him, I said, dude, why don't you apologize to your fans? Because there's obviously a lot of people who are upset with you, for one reason or another. You know, whether you're right or wrong, it doesn't matter. You need to apologize to these people and let them know that you care about their viewership and that you don't want them to leave because they were dedicated in the past and a you're not trying to make vacation. enemies, you're not trying to burn bridges, you don't Down want forward, to have, you obviously don't want to have this negativity. Cents. So Puff harder, his palms are sweaty, back squeak, gout flare is heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already, cheap spaghetti he's nervous, but on the surface he looks patchy and gouty to drop bits, but he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The detractors go so loud. You're gonna lose, you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose. Thank you for the 420. Down punch. Why don't you apologize to fans and try to start over, have a new mindset, a new attitude, and that'll kind of bring you into a new light for your YouTube channel, okay? So, I said all this and Phil figured, he's like, you know, he, we were talking about it when I was at his house and I said, and he was kind of like, you know what, you're right. You know, I, I understand what you're saying. Um, I feel that might be a good option. So if you watch that video back, he actually does apologize. He says, I want to apologize to anyone, whether you're a fan or a hater or whatever. I want to apologize if I did anything in the past that kind of pissed you off, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, good. You know, he's taking the advice. All right, sorry about that. I had to jump cut it because my camera actually ran out of battery. Good no, you so, anyway, bitch, it wasn't fraudulent. Basically, the general... Input Latin letters hot face tipped one dollar. Hey Tevin it's me Cot I have heard a lot about you my husband. Phil cries about how much you hurt him every night when he gets drunk off gin. I'll keep this short I want you please black me like the dirty horse I am mount me gingerly mount me hard. Help! The gist of the video that Phil made during his New Year's was that he basically 
wanted to get rid of the negativity. He Shit, wanted to push on positive Dark Souls soundtrack. Big words that he uses, and he wanted to focus on the games. And I, I, for me, I thought that was a good approach. I was like, you know what? All right, if he if he does that, you know, if he doesn't, if he ignores everything that people are saying, if he focuses on his gameplay, and he actually does good at his gameplay because think about it. I mean, many of the main complaints that people have about how he sucks at games, he's a hypocrite here and there. But for me. Him sucking at games, like, that's not even the biggest problem. Like, you know, if, if you're good or bad at video games, that's just something that you adapt over time. I mean, it kind of I is... I want to know how this is a specific this 2014 so perspective. This is you know, just DSP in general. Let's all really, still apply. You know, quote, unquote, improve. Again, I don't know. In some cases, it's because... Ariel, he's Ariel is being very toxic in his video. Because, you know, no, you dumb bitch. It wasn't so, you know, Whatever it may be. <laughs> Confused Feels Paypig bad, tipped man. $1, at which point of the anime was DSP nailing this dude and was he also underage? Uh, I think he said he was 17 when they met, right? Yeah, I think so. I might be wrong. I don't want to watch that video again. That was a scary video. But uh, don't worry, DSP met his dad, so everything was on up and up. And, you know, there are some games he does decently at, but, you know, for the, I think, you know, all those this is how you don't play videos people generally don't like the fact that you know he's what i mean i think it might be because people just like they think it's funny i mean again there are two and i'm going to say this in the video later on but there are two types of people in terms of the haters and i don't like to use the term haters because haters isn't really an accurate word i don't know critics i'm not sure what word people would like because I know using the term hater or troll makes it seem like that their opinion doesn't matter if I use the term hater it's almost like I'm lowering someone in status oh your opinion doesn't matter so therefore you don't have a say my say is greater than yours and you know that's the way it is it's not what I'm trying to say really but you know there are two types and I just need to distinguish between them if I'm going to move forward with oh this video because there, you know, there are Whoever's watching this video, there are two different standpoints you can have on Phil, to be quite honest. You know? You better is, take a um, seat. First, is the person who just likes to be a cyber bully. The person who does not want to see any type of change come from Phil. The type of person who would rather see Phil homeless without his job, without any job. You brought it up. You. Yes, you. The person who has no interest in helping Phil out of the position That's he's in or for. offering any constructive criticism and being just, you know, just doing mindful stuff, uh, you know, just, or not mindful, just hateful stuff for just no apparent reason. Stuff that really does not help anybody. And it's just, it's just a waste of time. And, you know... The reason it's a waste of time is because your words aren't affecting anything. Like, it, it's it's either to attract attention or it's to attract... It's just to attract people who share your opinion of hating on this person for just no reason. If there's no reason... You know, it's kind of a good question. Even for the first Area Lord video like this. He even said in this video that he talked to, uh, talked to him in person about trying to change his internet internet presence. So why did he make this video and why did he make the first video? Because <laughs> he could have just actually talked to him about it. Uh... Listen to it. It goes on just for the fact just to hate someone. He Again. picked you up off a train before, Ariel Lord. I think he okay, would have talked to you so about it. So there's the other type of hater. Sorry, it's really fucking loud. I'm not out there. I don't know why. I don't... I probably filmed this video at a bad time. But there, the other type of hater or critic, or term that I want to use not to generalize anything. The other type of person is the person who actually he really does want to see some like type of years, change huh? come from Phil. Because in that 2012 video, he called they DSP fans things, stupid, and I was like, wait a minute, huh? They hold these but in this video, he don't even want to call people so haters. because they want to see someone improve. This is a guy that they feel, deep down, isn't a horrible person, but has done some pretty crappy things, and they think that this person, Phil, obviously, should be held accountable for his actions. And I, 
you know, I tend to lean, obviously. People, people think he should be held accountable for his actions. This shocks me. You know, I lean more towards that group. I don't support cyberbullying or harassment because, you know, I know what it feels like to be harassed. In don't discount his harassment by, by DSP standards. Oh, well. Bullied in an online this is a very negative environment. Video. Regardless, it is not fun for the person who is receiving the hate and the bullying and all that crap. It's just... It, again, that, that kind of behavior doesn't really help anyone. It's not going to solve any problems that you might have. And I think that there are, again, different ways that people can do this. Different ways that people can reveal their disdain or their discomfort for something. And I think there are groups out there that don't like Phil that share these beliefs. And, it, you know, the unfortunate thing is that Phil cannot really tell who likes or, or who which what type I don't of get is critic or hater. he hung out with the SOK and was on the podcast right before this. He could have talked about this stuff on that, and then the other stuff in this video, he could have actually talked to DSP in person about it. So, one questions why why does the video exist? Thinking emoji, thinking emoji, machinima dollar sign is approaching thinking him emoji in any circumstance. And it's, you know, because, it, I mean, obviously on Twitter, you're limited to 140 characters. And oftentimes, Phil has, and, I, and Phil has said this in videos, that he cannot identify every single person who has a, a grudge against him. Because, you know, according to him, he's very busy playing his games and maintaining his channel and doing stuff in his life that he basically cannot accurately figure out who has a beef with him and who doesn't. <laughs> I you think the best way out he was able to like figure him. out who didn't didn't have a grudge with him was on Hate Live what when he hell? used to take live callers. Uh, there were some in instances where people actually, people who had problems with him, came on and voiced them and talked. And, you know, Phil even mentioned that that was a good way of going about it. Now, I'm not sure if, you know, now that he is off of Twitch, I'm not sure how he handles live callers. I've heard that he doesn't have them on his show really at all and i'm not sure if that was a result of people didn't just he, causing drama and i think he left twitch didn't he leave twitch in 2014 i thought he did hurting nonsense at him and you know again that kind of cyberbullying and harassment if that was what like people were doing on his hate live calls i'm pretty sure it crushed his spirit in wanting to have more callers like if he's dealing with people who aren't there to try to help him out of any situation so he should, he should do live so callers during gameplay i think wings did that now before. I've, I've deviated off a little bit i just wanted to discuss the people who have be some you know, hot problems content. with phil i did want to address that as a separate section but to go back to the section I was originally talking about where Phil said in the beginning of 2014 that he wanted to focus on the positive, which was his games and his content, Is he about new ideas, right new stuff that he was willing to do. You know, <laughs> no, you dumb bitch, it wasn't problem. He did a conversation through whatever... Dave he... NM tipped one dollar. These trolls don't even know the name of my stream, but they're all over like they want a hand hold. M-U-H stream, M-U-H stream, M-U-H stream. Project 7. Taking over the world. I'm the lead figure of my pad. I make all the wheelchair symbol S pay all my bills. Ow! At, I like at, how this, the way you say frigger. It sounds it sounds very very French, frigger. Almost like a food. Well, don't eh, people who eat frog do so. Well, at least the legs feels bad. Again. Nobody really has, you know, it's, it's his financial info, his info alone. I know some people supposed to use those to travel. on him because he does spend money a little, a little rash. Like, you know, it's a little, it's a little rash. Again, oh, yeah, just I, a little. I, nobody has any accurate proof of, you know, what he's spending. No one ever has those records. It's but, a good thing you, you never know, begged anything, you know. Stuff such as a $3,000 computer, and I think some expensive capture software for didn't the begging the like start right PS after this capture game let me look this shit up uh, is what that kind of stuff necessary of i mean obviously maybe yeah the new computer's necessary but three thousand dollars like i mean i was able to buy mine for like you know fourteen hundred and mm. my, my, run's, my run's fine like i mean i know that i'm not trying Yo, to do crazy he doing a fucking bird man hand rubbing a thumbnail 
unbelievable. For the announcement Patreon video, the, the start of the begging, he's doing a Birdman hand <laughs> This is February 2015, so right after this, he was he was doing this. And then he remember when the smug picture? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> you go to, you see the thumbnail with him doing a Birdman hand rub. Then you go to give him money and you see him looking at you smug as fuck. Unbelievable. Fun, fantastic marketing. The game, do this, do, like, fantastic I know marketing. That's I'm poor, but look how really fucking smug doing, I am about but, it. You know, I've got a good processor. <laughs> I've got a fast computer, can video edit, can do lots of stuff. And mine was half the price of what Phil paid for his. So it's kind of, I don't know. I, I, I think, I mean, especially if you're moving to a new... Okay, that's pretty good. Start with straight X, then crush water bottles. That's... That's quality. State and you have, you know, you can make a whole song out of that. And you have other things <laughs> to pay off. It, I don't know, adding a three thousand dollar computer onto that can be a little baffling to fans, and maybe that's why some people had some confusion. But then again, if Phil's able to afford it and he's managing his money, then I guess that's his business. But from an outsider perspective, I suppose people are confused, like, well, where are these funds coming from? If you say you don't have money to pay for this you know you've talked about your back and other financial problems you know where is the money coming from to pay for some of the more expensive things that you want to do for your channel because it seemingly just comes out of nowhere in some cases and um, people are confused about that but again back to my original point about Phil's attitude for 2014 so he said in January that he wanted to focus on the games he wanted to focus on the games, he wanted to focus on the positivity, DSP positive 2.0 or whatever, 3.0, whatever number we're on at this point. Um, he wanted to focus on positive things in his YouTube channel and playing games, having fun, you know, not being some sort of big YouTuber who edits. I wish he would have kept doing these. Like 2015, 16, 17, 18. And I would have been hot. You know, good retention, I'm hoping. I think he obviously wants Maybe DSP channel, would actually like ban him from his life by then. And, um, yeah. So, did Which creates a fantastic that? question. If Area Lord wanted to make a thing with DSP, what's the new game coming out soon? I think that Switch game, they might, that's not even might, that's something he said he's going to play co-op. So if Area Lord was to come out and say, oh, Phil, I want to play this specific game that you're going to play co-op, I want to play it with you. What do you say, yeah? Or would he say, um, no, you're toxic? I think he would say, yeah. Did he loves that in right 2014, now. did Phil he can't cancel him. hold true to that's the his promise, boss. his New Year's resolution? Yeah, Marvel Alliance, that's what I was New thinking Year's about. Resolutions and he could play that with him. It's kind of been generally accepted that most people, pops you know, have problems or struggle with their New Year's resolutions, but did Phil accomplish his? Well... <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> one day, one day, like the pig gnosis version of Panda Lee slash Leanna name is going to be Leanne. Somehow it was going to get turned into Leanne. So five years from now, people are going to be like, oh, yeah, remember Phil's uh, old, what was it? His ex, yeah, his ex girlfriend, Leanne. Yeah, they won't live together like a year, a year right? It's going to be that by then. And no one's going to be able to tell anybody otherwise. There Everything were some gonna get instances deleted. This is this year where I was a little Leanne. confused <laughs> about the mentality Phil was enacting for his YouTube channel. I obviously <laughs> cannot bring up every single instance, so you guys I'm not even going Leanne? to attempt because this video would be like three hours if I tried. But I would and try he to dumped bring up the too. major ones. That's that the other part. He dumped her. And he dumped his ex girlfriend Leanne. People, you know, both critics, fans, Phil, whatever. The first is something that comes to mind, which Phil has talked about recently, actually, is the number of games that he plays on his YouTube channel. Because I remember, even in 2012, before his New Year's resolution this year, in 2012, when he made a video talking about important changes that were coming to his channel, you know, this was before live streaming, this was before direct capture, he made a video saying that he thinks he's playing way too many games, that he thinks he's flooding his subscriber subscription box with a lot of videos, and that the abundance of his playthroughs... Did he do anything about it, or did he just did say it? ...not becoming a good thing or a positive thing for his channel anymore, and it. that 
the amount of games that he plays is becoming a problem and that he needs to find a fix for that, an alternative to that. And I have to give him credit because in early 2013, he actually Are we did about to gas video serious, games? Like, retro replay where he played classic This is a very serious discussion. He played good thing or There's too many fucking games out there. We got to get rid of some. That the amount of games that he plays is becoming a problem. And that he needs to These find games are becoming a problem. We need a fix for that. <laughs> And I have to give we him need an alternative to this video game he problem. He did some series like Retro Replay where he played sounds, classic sounds games good. and actually didn't play some new releases because he figured that he's going to try to stick to his changes and make quality gameplay instead of just flooding people's subscription oh, that boxes totally with out gameplay to be the case. that kind of seemed rushed and videos that you know just didn't show oh, much yeah. quality just because he was trying to have so much quantity in them. Okay, so. So from there, from his retro replay days, let's flash forward to, um, let's say, a few weeks ago. There was that one week uh, in November of this year where there were about like eight, ten games that came out on the same day. It was the day that Far Cry Oh, that War, was an amazing day. Dragon Age Inquisition. I remember watching Smash that stream. Brothers, such, a, such a good stream. It was the week after the Master Chief Collection came out. It was this 1080p60. Sure it was a YouTube you know, stream. Would know what it was I'm fucking lit. About. He hated everything. There were about he was so salty. He was so sad. The of one day. And it was the middle of the night. Well, Sorry, almost. Because the middle of the night for him is what, 9 p.m.? There were Midnight a release. lot of games that came out. And I remember PM. Phil's <laughs> week in preview where he discussed, how am I going to juggle all these games? You know, what am I going to do? You know, it's, it's, you know I agree with him. It's kind of stupid that game publishers release these games on the same day. But, you know, it happened. So how is someone like Phil going to handle a change like that? Well, for me, I was kind of hoping that he would say, all right, let's only choose, I don't know, let's say four or five games. Let's choose a couple of games out of the major releases that have come out. And you know what? Out of the, these games that I choose, no, you don't. I am Pitch, going to try to make, you know, Quality gameplay. The um, pig project tipped one dollar. You guys, did you know my ex-wife actually way. cheated on me in the past with this guy called Jeff? I oh, actually God. forgave her because I don't hold grudges. But lo and behold, she cheated on me again. You know what they say: <laughs> cheaters never prosper. Good riddance. <laughs> Good riddance to bad fucking rubbish. I'm going to try to. Hopefully, you that's know, not a be quote on day, time but I for my like stream. I will get to that point of contention that people seem to bring up constantly. Um, and I'm going to try to make them the best quality that I can, right? That's, that's what I was hoping. That's what I was hoping. When I saw all these games coming out and I saw Phil's Week in Preview, I was like, you know, I hope he handles it that way. You know, that would be, that would be staying true to the promise that he made back in 2012. And it would help reinforce his New Year's resolution about staying positive and making quality gameplay. That's all worked out, by the way. I remember when he was super positive in 2015. He well, loved no, it, yeah. Bitch, it wasn't fraudulent. Didn't happen like Why? that. Mr. Phil. Detective tipped $1. I wonder if he really had a crush on Phil or if he's just that awkward. Uh, it, it's because he's a writer, dude. It's just that, it's just a, like, like a poetic, poeticness to him. Well, unfortunately, tried to juggle every single game Maybe. that came out on that day. And, you know, there were some exceptions. He didn't play Assassin's Creed Rogue and he played Unity instead. So there were some games that he skipped. But for the most part, Phil tried to play every single game that came out on that day. And he tried to juggle them. And some of the games were really long, like Dragon Age Inquisition. And, you know, they required a lot of his time. And I think he got to the point where even now he hasn't finished some of these playthroughs. And I have begun to see in some of the videos the quality suffers. A perfect, a perfect example of this is his Halo 2 anniversary playthrough. No, you don't. Bitch, it I like how in the beginning Why? he tell us he was showing LA proof and have links. Quant he did one dollar and eleven cents. If it's so stupid for My devs goodness. to release games at the same time, why isn't it stupid for streamers like Dark to stream games at the same time? Uh, no, you dumb bitch. It because he has a different fan base, Why? dude. Come on. Rick tipped one dollar and nine cents. Hey, I'm up in Shreveport and was watching Phil talk about suicide oh, last night. I was reminded that I'm suicidal also. So I called the Louisiana Suicide Hotline and the robot lady said the Saints were going 4 and 12 and walked me <laughs> I through I knew something was news. coming. Thank you, but thank you for the, for the dollar nine, Rick, and the dollar 11.
for my leg. A couple of parts were pretty God decent. He was getting into the game, having fun with it, kind of joking around, making some jokes and laughing and having fun. That's a detractor. Um, but dude. towards the end, the Saints are going to be great until Drew Brees leaves. There were a couple of missions towards the Which end where he so blatantly cool. skipped. He skipped them. He skipped. He, he was running past all of the enemies. Oh, I because remember what you were talking point, about. That was great. This was Halo in December. Footage. The Master Chief collection had come out a month I was looking prior, a few so Phil ago. was already way late with this playthrough. So I figured, and this, this is my assumption of what happened. Phil figured, you know what, this game, it's been a month since it came out, I need to finish it, there are so many other games that I'm juggling, I need to finish this game, you know what, fuck it, screw fighting these enemies, it's not worth it, you know, the game's on normal, you know, on normal difficulty you can get away with running past the enemies because, you know, you're not taking as much you know? damage, and there are stages where you can run through the game. So he said, you know what, screw it, I'm going to run through, and um, who cares, I, I need to get the playthrough what completed, did, I want and to see uh, it. so what kind of thing. What did he, well, you know what, it's probably the Walking Dead shit. I don't really think that Some of that probably was play. popping off on his if channel. You watch those, if you watch time. those parts back, it, it, for me, being a fan, of, like Halo 2 being my favorite first person yep, shooter ever. That's and again, this, and I'm not saying this as a fanboy. I was about to say, you got 11,000 sales from just playing games Phil and the camera in the past, TV. Oh, you know, fanboys of the games that I play always attack me because of this and <laughs> well, that. I guess I don't know it's so much that, so. Brought you in. For me? Why? <laughs> Zion Williams tipped $1. Hey, Tevin, I'm moving to NOLA, so I have been watching your streams. Been a fan since 2019. Big ups. Big up Zion Williams. Thank you for holding it down. I was pissed off because the quality of his playthroughs were suffering because of the quantity of games and videos that he was making. It was like we were back in the 2012 days where he's constantly, constantly, constantly uploading footage. And to make matters worse, he's actually running at a... No, he's you're running out of, he, he's problem. running with less what? time than he did in Arizona made gamer tip one dollar. Can't you ideas. tell that I'm he in love woman? Like no other woman. Oh, I'm sorry, Panda. I thought you was my other woman. My bad snart. Thank you for the dollar. 2012, because at least in 2012, he had the camera, so he didn't live stream. So he kind of had his own is schedule. Is this just weekend like this? And nobody, that... you know, nobody knew about him showing up late when a he was starting. He, he was actually, I think, in my opinion, very efficient in 2012 with how he handled, you know, lots and lots of games, recording them just with his camera. No, but you dumb bitch, it wasn't probably It seems like, and people have noticed this on Twitter, Anonymous there seems to be a dollar. pattern of Phil Just lost I've my seen cousin a lot. the other day. I wanted to be there at the hospital, but was in the middle of Pee Puppy at the one yard line rip. Look, passing at the one yard line. Was this about, was this supposed to be Drew Brees? I'm, I'm so scared. I don't know if this is a meme or not. God damn it. Thank you for the dollar. Like, Anonymous. oh, I'm late to this stream. I'm late to this. I'm late to that. Oh, sorry, I'm 30 minutes late. Oh, Hate Live is starting 30 minutes late. I'm apologize. Oh, this is starting late. This is starting late. Well, you know, it's 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 okay if it happens every now and then, but from what I've seen, you know, following Phil on Twitter and just checking my Twitter every now and then, it seems to happen a lot. <laughs> no, it's not a funny fucking meme. It's something that could ruin someone's goddamn fucking life. Phil seems to be apologizing on Twitter a lot for being late, okay? And I don't know why. Maybe it's because of something personal that just keeps coming up. I have no idea. But I, 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 especially announcing it on Twitter, that's just more bait, and it pisses people off. Because people, if you're going to have these positive changes and push through your gameplay, and you want to be all about the games, you need to be on time to your streams. Plus, if you're trying, okay, even though I don't think he should be doing this, if he's trying to play all of these games that are coming out in such a short period of time, don't you think it would make sense for him to be on time to the stream? Harry Law, so please. That he has the maximum amount of time He had a girlfriend at the time, dude. The Come games. on. Like, he spends like 30 minutes uh, talking on the pre-stream. Again, all 30 of this time ticks away. You play music for 20 away. minutes now. So then he only has a few hours to play a game. You wish it was just like, 30 minutes I of talking, buddy. I figured he could have been done with a game like Dragon Age Inquisition, which is a really long game. I figure he could probably be done with it if a lot of, you know, being late and a lot of the pre-stream nonsense and, you know. He always cry about the games being so long, too. But but if he just didn't do pre-streams, that's what, five extra hours of gameplay a week so he could beat the games faster? The games that he won't, can't wait to get through? But then you say, oh, Phil, you could just talk you could just talk during the gameplay instead of making a pre-stream. And then he says, oh, uh, no. What about the people on the archive, man? 
But then he say nobody watched the videos on the archive, which is YouTube. We don't even call it YouTube now. It's the archive now. It's got, it's got a new name. It's pretty fancy. The quantity of games that he's been playing, I think if that was he's cut like, down... He put every, he's sent everything in circles think that he until would you just get annoyed. ...be in the game by now. And it's funny because Dragon Age of Inquisition won Game of the Year No, I can't PGAs. talk during like, gameplay videos. You know, people and, uh, all the crappy games that came no, out in 2014, bitch, you know, makes you know, sense. You know, 2012 is almost done. Drew makes Brees fucking left sense. nut tipped one dollar. Don't forget that Drew Brees lost around six million dollars over a diamond investment scam. Oh God! The diamond industry is the real detractor, dude. Uh, six million dollars, Drew Brees. He might be high. Yeah, he probably high. Twentieth, right? Now. Thank you for the fact that 2014 is almost done. You know, and Phil usually does his Game of the Year awards. Well. That might you know, be a if he hasn't beaten Dragon break. Age Inquisition, and it's a Game of the Year contender, That's a how negative can he harassment really give an accurate for Drew Brees. score if he hasn't done all the A content. negative harassment <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, that's one, one large so point I'm start of calling them now. I negative harassment memes. wanted to deal with. So keeping Phil's New Year's resolution harassment in mind, memes. from my perspective and from many people's perspective, I did not see his changes with how he handled things this year, especially in the fall. I did not see that conducive to his overall changes for what he said about being positive and having quality gameplay. Because at this point, okay, just thinking logistically at this point, people on YouTube, because there's so many people on YouTube, it's going to be the quality of your videos that people want to see, not the quantity. Okay? I think the days are gone when quantities of videos outdid. This elite woke gamer take by uh, Air 8 Log, by the way. Other mediums, like other forms of putting content on YouTube. Okay? I don't think okay. flooding subscription boxes is really the best way to go nowadays. Okay, I, re I really think that it's putting more quality into your videos. And that's why the bigger YouTubers, you know, only put out a few videos, but they spend a lot of time with those videos and make them into something, you know, big and amazing. And, and again, I'm not saying Phil has to be like that. He has said countless times that he doesn't want to be like that and he wants to have a diverse atmosphere to his channel where he's, you know, the realest motherfucker and he's honest this and honest that. And, you know, he, he's, he's you can do it. It's all up to you with a little plan, you can change your life today. You don't have to spend your life on the streets. No, you're dumb bitch. It wasn't fraudulent. Why? Interrupting the archive took one dollar. I thought Dark Sidefall was the king of hate, and it made him a flowering, powerful person pig. But apparently, behind the scenes, it hurts him. Like when that otter poacher turban makes emotes of his ex finance leak. Very depressing, joyful frogman brother. No, you're dumb bitch. It wasn't fraudulent. Drew Brees tipped one dollar. What's up everybody, Drew Brees here, welcome back to the Twitch stream. I'm here with Zion Williamson playing Monopoly. My friend Anthony Davis should have been here two hours ago. I hope he comes back soon. No, you dumb bitch, it wasn't fraudulent. Sean Payton tipped one dollar. Hey Tevin, thanks for being a loyal fan my Who Dat Nation game. I can't wait to let you down again with the help of Roger Goodell. Who dat? Who dat? Who dat let them Saint fans down? I'm dat, I'm dat nickel, who let y'all down? on his Twitter and they say, oh look, there's a link to a live stream I can Actually, watch. I'm pretty confused. Someone right watches now. the live stream, okay? And then Phil later on Twitter says, oh, I'm gonna upload the twenty videos that I made from a live stream I did today. Well if there's nine hundred people on the stream <laughs> still... what reason okay, you finally got to any of those like people <laughs> have to go back on your YouTube channel and watch the videos that you put up. <laughs> Because in the end, if this is your full-time job and it's a business and you're trying God, to make money really to sustain yourself to do more of this, you need, you know, 
maximum number of people watching your YouTube videos because oh, as a Machinima man. partner, you get paid per views. I know this because I'm also a Machinima partner. I'm not as high up on the level that Phil is in they, terms of the right, but I know me. how the system wow, works. Wow, no wonder I didn't have fucking business anymore. Good Hogan, job, Machinima. In Good fucking job. Guys, sad news today. James Rolfe, a.k.a. the angry video game nerd, has died of a heart attack Could you imagine if he was still alive? I am reminded of my own oh. heart condition, which is caused by the trolls and that black dude, Turban. Please pay my bills. <laughs> the trolls Could will kill me. Could you imagine that? 2077. He outlasted everybody that existed when he was, when he was at his peak. And he, he's been begging for 80 years. <laughs> is it, no, no, it wouldn't be 80 yet. Oh, shit, maybe it would, huh? Oh, God. Maybe, I don't know, maybe 70. I think he could do it. If, it, if his mama died before the 10 years pass, then he can never get a job. No, you dumb bitch. It wasn't probably totally work out. It's totally going to happen. Just wait. Mega underscore racist underscore gamer tip I can, I can see him I hate somehow minorities. outlasting everybody. Absolute worst. Whether you're a taco, a slanty, brown, or sand. It sounds like something DSP would have said, sadly. I think of a dollar. Mega racist gamer. And a uh, 420 from down for a punch. Sadly, it seemed like he would be around after everybody else died. He had like 90 heart attacks. One leg got chopped off. He can barely talk. He can only sleep three hours. He can need a bunch of pillows to sleep. And he just outlasting everybody. I know how Machinima pays people. Sheesh. Every month, it's a check. And it's based on views. Total number of views divided by a certain currency of money, and then that's the payout that Machinima gives their partners. For like for me, looking at this from afar, I, I, I cannot in the past, I couldn't justify live streaming. I, I for him, for Phil specifically, I couldn't justify Twitch over time. You know, I was just like, this is taking away from his views. He has to be having a view drop, he has to be having a pay cut. You know, a pay, you know, in addition to the pay cut he got two years ago, he has to be having a pay drop from this live. One thing I do hope if DSP, even around five years from now, I really hope he come up with some kind of gimmick or some kind of theme or change his name or something. Because he's been around so long and he really don't even have a gimmick or a theme or like a general thing they expect besides that he might beg and ban you. That's <laughs> begging and Begging and banning isn't necessarily a fantastic theme. Hopefully by then he have like a, a pet frog or something. Like something. If cat make him get a cat, maybe he can sit it in a cage and stick a camera on it. Then he can be the cat dude. I don't know. He can he can be something. But he probably won't. He'll he'll still be a he'll still be Phil. Phil the uh, Phil the gamer. I mean YouTube kind of war it's a the frog. war <laughs> places of frog content guy. now they're clashing like people are residual hey man you ever watch dsp uh who the frog dude oh yeah i think i've seen him before he pretty he do pretty good streams man by then they have 40 frog emotes YouTube content, like seven actual pet frogs remote, frogs that. on a wall anyway I, I just don't think people will want to watch his did you imagine a room dedicated to frogs and you stream from the room see something that i've already seen like a regular bedroom, but the, the whole room is made for frogs content. to live in it. When he and on, you have on like Twitter, a computer set up and shit. Oh, I'm uploading the part from today's playthrough. It it's would a very elaborate. Excited. Oh, I'm really interested in waiting for these videos that are going to come out, and then they'd come out, and then that would be that would be the frogs content. jumping around when you're playing That's Fortnite. That's how I see things going. But you know, it fills the fence. I think the way he did it on Twitch was the best way he could have possibly done it, in the fact that he had paid subscribers, and that he had you know I he told people many times not to use ad block but you know if people want to use it they can use it it's not illegal it's uh, known it's it's been known on google chrome for a while as a known extension so i mean back to back to back to back to back but, um, back. Like, he, he did it to the best japanese flag bed sheet tip three dollars and 33 cents listen dave it's your wife and trusty steed kit <laughs> i want to apologize for I making love the way movie with the black man kid. who shall not be named it wasn't my fault, Turvin's frog was M. Butterfly and he ravaged me on his lily pad. It's okay though because I'm your soulmate. No, you it's dumb bitch, you fraudulent. Oh what? shit, Anthony Davis here. Anthony Davis tipped $1, the year is 2085. Hopefully you have fun Dark enough and killing. Dark Sidefull sits Kelly. in his missile silo bunker with a CRT television and laptop pointed at the screen. It's almost over. With a cracked dry voice he tells the last of society, All right everyone, <laughs> welcome back to the stream, Darksidefull here. All right everyone, welcome back to the stream. 
Dark Side feel here. It's him and the dude that owned Twitch and another bunker. And they're just both watching each other. <laughs> Everybody else did. He still did it and he made it work. And he he had pretended, like he, pretended and like he got a thousand views. But technically, he half owned the website at this point, still be so he can give his, he can give himself a view count. Were, you know, you know, Feels bad. What, what, uh, like what he wants them to oh, I just I got a 500 bit enough. cheer, so and it's it oh, it's from a fucking troll. Well, thank but you for the cheer. Later this this year, the whole Twitch conundrum. I was there when it happened. Basically, when Twi when Phil deleted his Twitch, what happened, and you know, people know this story, and the fact that. Phil was told by a member of Twitch, a moderator or engineer said the bit or rate thing? working at Twitch, came into Phil's forum and said that his bit rate was too high. Oh, see, he was, he was he going been, from Twitch by then. He had his bit rate for like over a month, so he had been doing this for a while, and finally he was caught and told to lower the bit rate, and that was the night he was first going to play the Master Chief Collection, and he, I remember watching him, on Twitch that last night, okay, I had some free time, and I was like, what the hell is all this bullshit going on? Hey, you know, you know what game will look fantastic no matter how low or how high the bitrate is? Quake Champions. On, on Twitter. So I went on his Twitch page, and he was playing, he was testing out Halo, trying to get good quality, trying for it not, to not be pixelated, trying to get, he was just trying all of these different things. And so this went on for hours. Again, wasted time, again, that he could be spending on other gameplay. But this went on for hours and hours of him trying to test this and set this up and all this stuff. And so finally, he says, fuck it, that's it, I'm done. I'm going to try YouTube live streaming. And that, the, that was interesting in and of itself because watching this guy, you know, his, his hair all scraggly on his webcam... On YouTube, you know, there was all these hater comments the fuck coming is this? in on the comment section because you can't really... Aerolog being real YouTube toxic comments. in this video. What's going on here? It was just a mess. And the biggest thing about all of this is that Phil had recruited moderators, um, people on his forums... Recruited, by the way. ...people who, who gave their time to his content of their own free will. They aren't getting paid. Some of them were even paid subscribers and giving Phil money. And these people were really consistent, and I'm, I'm friends, I will admit, I'm friends with many of the ex-moderators from Twitch's, uh, tw I keep saying Twitch's, Phil's Twitch channel. I know many of those moderators. Those guys were dedicated, I can say, as a whole, you know, maybe not all of them, but most of the moderators, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't want to start naming names, but a, some people know, and a lot of the moderators were dedicated. They gave their time. They watched his streams. They were consistent. They policed. It was almost, they were almost like unpaid interns. They were, they were like working for free to maintain this chat, which was important to Phil's side of doing things on Twitch. It's That's green. one of the biggest pluses to doing stuff on Twitch, is that you not only stream live, but you it's have green. live reactions in the comments, in the chat, which adds to the immersion of the gameplay you're offering it's on green. Twitch. So these moderators have given no, a lot of their time ever since Phil started live streaming. Why? Anonymous tipped $1. The year is 2099. Dark Sideful is in a robot body and still has an awful hairline. <laughs> the last of his subscribers remaining is Super Blind Man, <laughs> who sends a $500 what tip the telling fuck? him the Saints still haven't won a Super Bowl. That's bullshit. Get out of here with your toxic negative saints memes. You know, moderators How came and went, but there were some that were very consistent towards the end who were known people. A lot of the fans who weren't moderators knew these people. They were all good friends. They chatted. They talked. And I think it blindsided a lot of these moderators when Twitch just went down, especially, okay? I don't know how many people know this, <clears throat> but prior to Twitch going completely kaput, a few months prior to it, I received a few emails. Duck, duck with the robot body. Still, I just got a 500-bit cheer. <laughs> Thank you, but I am not going to read it. Now, let's get you up on the leaderboard. Still, would have a manual leaderboard. And a full <laughs> full Emails from people no, saying, no, okay. oh, Harry Lord, you Within 10 years, he has to upgrade his fucking camera private. He has said, to. Airy Lord, if you, one of the mods said this to me. I forget what his name maybe, was. But one of the maybe. mods approached me on email and said, That camera gun up is going to has to break for an upgrade. For Phil on Twitch, you it literally need to has to, to fucking break. Hate forums and go to a special <laughs> forum section 
where all of the moderators are learning new rules, they're talking amongst themselves, and we're trying to find cool ways to you know, integrate stuff into the community, find the oh, moderators sure. who are really into the con, you know, only the, like, uh, I guess Phil was trying to weed out <laughs> the right mods, you know, who are the mods that are really yard. into my content, who can really now put themselves cheer, on my channel for extended periods of time and receptacle. watch the chat and kind of be there when I need them Calculate to be there. It like, to be if I do an impromptu stream, we could be moderators there to, to help me, okay? And that was, there was a secret forum on the old King of Hate forums that existed, you know, last Maybe month Maybe Robot could show up. On those forums, there was a section for only Twitch moderators, and I obviously was a part of it because I used to be a Twitch moderator. And there were sections and threads about who should be a mod and who shouldn't be a mod, and there were also things talking about, you know, this is how, weird. I thought he would have talked about this first. You know, this is kind of a big deal run. in 2014. There were multiple discussions, for, uh, and I DSP, believe, at least. Okay, according to Matt Beachy, who I have Skype conversations up on my computer at the moment. According to Beachy, there was a rule that Phil had, or I think it was the mods had with Phil on the forums, that if anyone was to be banned, that was still I think the robot on the forums, DSP. I'm not sure if this about was banned on Pizza. Twitch or on the forums, it could have been both or one of them, I'm not entirely sure about that. But basically, if Phil was to want to ban someone on the forums or on Twitch, that he had to consult with the moderators wow. first. Okay, and this is coming from the word. The, this is Dude, from Matt Beachy. Everybody else somehow take everything too serious, and this is what DSP used to do. He had to consult with a team to ban someone. Who was one of the administrators along with Hazard? They had a council. The forums. Before they had a fucking council. Crash. Okay. So they had a council. The reason why I'm grouping the forums and Twitch is because these two events happened That's at amazing. the same time. After Phil That's amazing. Got, stopped doing Twitch and went on YouTube <laughs> and made this radical change, a lot of the moderators oh, felt kind of betrayed. Me. The fact that Phil left Twitch Should just I ban this guy? get, oh, 1080p, 60 frames per second. That was the big thing. His bitrate was too high. They were at, He was asked to lower it, and now, to lower it, and he was angry that he couldn't have 1080p 60 frames per second. Now, just a quick comment on the no, 1080p you dumb bitch, it wasn't I don't even want to talk to these guys anymore now. Down forward punch tipped $1. Me. The year is 2100 and Dark has cryogenically frozen himself until they find a cure for the gout. Before he was frozen, That's he pointed a 480p webcam at his cryopod with tips enabled of course. Guys when I wake up I am going to owe so much in interest. Snort. That's the that's one of the worst parts. He will still have gout, twenty, thirty years from now, forty years from now. Guys, I, I can't eat fucking red meat. I don't know why you guys are saying I should barbecue outside. I can't eat red meat. You want people won't even know what, he even got gout anymore. He he'll just say he doesn't want to eat red meat and leave it at that. Feels Topic. bad. Can we all Will just he even have the tractor moment, memes if he exists 20 years from now? Consider the fact that this is coming from everybody going to get banned or deleted or killed. No, you dumb bitch. It wasn't for the guy all who used to what? film with a camera. Anonymous and tipped one dollar. The, the year is no longer remembered. About? All that remains is the dirt and nuclear oh. radiation. Phil has ascended and become one with the machine. He's His still stream alive, echoes <laughs> throughout the wastes to no one. Humanity is gone, and Phil finally outlasted every big streamer. Feels bad. No, you dumb bitch, it wasn't fraudulent. People on other what? planets watching them now. Jay tipped one dollar. The year is 3,999. Phil is still using his laptop from the 1800s, and the technology finally exists for Kakan to finally turn Kakan. himself into his fursona. By the way, big ups Kakan. Well, immense numbers of videos. Hey, according to him, he's not that much of a furry videos. anymore, dude. This is the person who now cares, it, was just a it phase. seems like he cares more than above all else in terms of his gameplay, a very late he cares phase. more about 1080p 60 frames per second than he does about having what he does in the game. It's, it's about how he conducts himself in his commentary, how he moves about, about the game. That's what should matter from now, most. 30 years from now. It shouldn't be about well, the quality, what a first okay? shouldn't be about the quantity. Okay? It shouldn't and be about the live Hell, Probably. you could even Chris fucking film your stuff with 20 cents. Puff harder. Instead of snorts, cyborg Phil would beep and boop rudely. Uh, sorry for the loud beeps, you guys, but I have a fallible robot, so I can't control it. The camera, like okay. I'm doing now, just for this one vlog. Sad and you Sound can good? still Sad have successful content. And you know why I know that's true? Because in 2010, your pinnacle year, 
which is you know mostly agreed upon by your fans that 2010 was your golden year. That I love how his, how his golden year was almost his entire legacy ago. Commentary that is amazing. Play and how you conducted yourself in the game when you only focused on those My factors. God. <laughs> that made all the difference. My golden Focusing year was nine years ago. I've no been on a downtrend since. In the long run. Big people, fucking up. Sure, there are people here and there might you know that might like it, and sure, it makes sense to keep up with the times. Obviously, with the Xbox One and PS4, it makes sense not to be in the archaic age where you're still filming with a camera. Yeah, I un I understand. It makes sense that you have to not be a dinosaur and you have to catch up with the time. As he films no, you his Xbox bitch, with a camera. It's an Xbox 360. Dude, Anonymous tipped $1.33. Good God. Uh, no idiot. I haven't had gout since I upgraded <laughs> to this robot body, which I still owe taxes on. Now, if you want to know how you can help me on said taxes, you can tip me. I get that immediately. And it's a big misconception that people have is that they need a PayPal tip. You really don't. You just need to have your microchip installed, man. And you can send it right over. I completely understand that. But when it gets to the point where there's a sacrifice being made and there are people, critics, no, you dumb people bitch. Bitch. Was was that, that that sacrifice is going a little too far. Anonymous and then tip $1. And then your DSP has become a robotic pig tyrant, now, tyrant huh? Morton pig and detractors switch. drive around the wasteland in demo That's derby bad. cars. No, you dumb bitch. It is it just going to be that, uh... Why? What was that movie? Storyteller tipped one dollar. The year is 2025. You enter a restaurant called movie. Burnell's Authentic Italian Restaurant. Man, as you sit in, a man with a receding hairline T easy. poses at you and waddles over you. Hello, everyone, he says. He then proceeds to ramble at you for an hour about bills. He could never get a job in a restaurant. It's too much moving around, dude, and too much standing. Matter of fact, whatever job DSP get, it he, it needs to mandatory sitting. Uh, you can have up to two hours of breaks a day. A vape a nation. What else? Down forward punch Infinite tip four dollars and twenty cents. Puff harder. Mm. The year is twenty sixty, and Dark owns a horse farm where cat and KG oh, can roam free at least until they grand the KG got horse gendery rainbow surgery, so he can finally live his dream. Please tip me, cat and KG eat so much food. That's that's. Hey, don't leave KG out of this. How dare you? About Be it. a it's good not boy. Horse correct. Sometimes. Instead of course correcting, you push back. He's not. You say, no, I, you're wrong. I want to do you're it this way. And, and I'm going to continue doing it this way. And if you don't like it, then tough shit. Because is that again, it's my his content, life? my rules. I'm the dictator of my content. Actually, I've heard no him say idea. comments like this. I'm the dictator of my content. I do what How I want. It's one nation to to under Phil. Like, I've, I've heard him say joke, you know, stuff in a jokingly manner about those kind of comments. And you, oh, the thing okay. of the matter is... <laughs> what the yeah, fuck? sure, you can do what you ne want. With very your negative content, comment. But in the end, it's the viewers who are paying you. All the people who watch no, this content. No, it's the bitch. It wasn't Why? Okay. Storyteller tipped one dollar. Finally, the, the hour he gingerly, and you can finally what the order. Hell was that? You look at the menu. There are only three food items: pasta yeah, with sauce, cat's tuna over, clove, yeah. and authentic Italian pizza. Warning: This pizza has oregano on it. If you are not <laughs> Italian, you will hate it. No, you dumb bitch. It wasn't that fraudulent. It's not an actual thing he Robot said, too. DSP I think it is, one dollar. Huh? Beep, boop, snort, okay, everyone fill here. Uh. Mechanical noises, vroom, so apparently I need maintenance? And I really need your donations wow, you to get a new microprocessor or else cot might leave me. Beep, boop, I need that new graphics card, I really do. No, you dumb bitch, it wasn't fraudulent. Why? I hate Galactic Year okay, tipped wait. one dollar. Uh, like, apparently, I'm some just, of my I feel like I'm just looking at media and promotions. Of me looking up at my camera. Don't ask about that. It's a stupid. I feel like I'm reading I just got a cheer from Alien right Gumshoe. Phil Earth doesn't exist. You owe no taxes, uh, unicorn idiot kid. Goodbye. <laughs> he really, really does not almost want to be personal on Twitter. Well, there you go. It's just strictly. Pro That's a, a real business Twitter. Good God. ...should be caring about the most. So let's just consider this in the case of Twitch. Jeez, you had some of the most dedicated people walk -in dead content moderators creator. who would sit on your every word. I thought he was passionate Twitch about, passionate about it games. It wasn't Phil who came to me about, about doing the Twitch thing and about joining the forums to be involved in that group. It was one of his mods. I don't think one of his mods approached me on behalf of Phil and said, Hey, Airy Lord, 
you need to join on this Twitch group on the forums because this is <laughs> like where Galactic the real mods are who are really going to be modding. And anyone else who doesn't is going to get demodded and we're going to find the mods who really want to help Phil on his Twitch channel. Yeah, last okay? the whole galaxy. Those people who are super dedicated. Who and he's still complaining about when he lost his job in 2010. paid for it, okay? These are the people. You guys you remember when I lost my fucking job way back in 2010? What? What? Storyteller Basis. tipped one dollar. The oregano out. thing is from his pizza cooking with the king. He put on cilantro and oregano <laughs> and warned everyone that if you don't Only have Italian Italians. jeans, you'll hate the oregano. So if you're not Italian, dude, leave it off. Like if you are Italian. Italian, you will like the oregano. And then Pan didn't no, eat the pizza. Bitch, not Italian. Brought he didn't think about what? that very much. DSP beyond the time tipped one dollar. The year is 3075. Like DSP <laughs> has completely like integrated oregano. himself with his tip jar to become an abomination of Very pig toxic machine. oregano. With his greasy, gout ridden thrusters, Phil travels the stars begging sapient life forms for money to save his capsule apartment on side three. It's like a weird, a weird version of Star Ocean. He's just floating around going planet to planet back begging to for back money. To back to back to back because he back. needs money. Like and they say, why do you need Seven money? Evan and he says, I need to pay my and bills. Cents. And they say, wait a minute, bills don't exist anymore. And he says, no, Phil these are my bills from 2010. Seven 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 and then they just say, what is 2010? Why did you do this, Harry Lord? And maybe a robot face slot machine. Back to back to back to back to back to back, like Drake. MF tipped three dollars and thirty-three cents. The year is twenty twenty. It is the United States of Phil. What he says goes. Oh shit! That's super soon. No, you dumb bitch! It wasn't fraudulent. Could you imagine if he had real the life end of in thoughts person tipped one dollar. Please do a back in time Oof. on the Furtado PC website <laughs> scandal that Rainbows was too crazy when it happened. I beg you, Nigvin. Nigvin. Did I watch? I know I watched it before, but I didn't like dedicate the stream to watching them, I think. Or did I? No, it wasn't about the website and shit. I'm thinking about the back in time when I watched them pull up the PC and stuff. I think it's a old LD video about that. The, uh, for the fur, fur tardo and website shit. No, you dumb bitch. It wasn't so at least I wouldn't have to watch a bunch what? of weird. Did himself tipped stuff. one dollar. Hola, my amigos. So put Dark side Phil here, and I'm excited to announce I am now streaming in Spanish for my Mexican viewers. So grab your sombrero and corona, and let's el game o. Viva la raza ole. Sound good? No, you dumb bitch. It wasn't brought El game o. Why? Cherry juice sheets tipped one dollar. I wrote a song for you. Hello, Dark side, my old friend. I've come to stream with you again. Because a viewer is softly fapping, spraying his seed and sleeping. And the image of you in the shower is planted in my brain. It still remains. No, you dumb bitch, it wasn't fraudulent. <laughs> Why? Truth Teller tipped $1, it's 2077 and Phil is adjusting his oxygen tank and complaining that people in the chat find it annoying. His in-house nurse, who is not Asian, has do co-op gameplay with him because he outlasted everyone and Ket just exist. Feels good, man. Let's sell it as accurate to now. Egbert tipped hey, Egbert, $2. dollars two dollars. current year is 2019. Yeah, man, you're right. Yo, would it be no, a way... No, you dumb bitch, it wasn't fraudulent. Why? Maybe. Kiwi tipped one dollar. It's year 2025. DSP comes on stream. He glances at camera. Kind of meme I win rainbows. I have Come one on, million man. in bank. Somehow. I win, you lose. Tevin, you are mentally yeah, ill. Yeah, man, it help. is 2019. Me and Kat are moving but to Colorado. Would he be he able to do that? camera. Back to 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 Quake champions. The, the fact that this Twitch is the, that Twitch is gone. Okay? Somebody, we gotta watch and QuakeCon, bro. A vast I need to Google that shit. Of these moderators to see them are pretend to care about it. Now, I just want to deviate. For a I like how they promote here. QuakeCon at E3. Thank you for watching this other shit. Make sure to watch all other shit. Sound <clears throat> good? What, what are we doing? For a minute. 
on my computer, I no, have you dumb bitch. It wasn't some fraudulent. Some messages on <laughs> Skype that I exchanged Anonymous with tip Matt Beal. Oh, we about to the follow the messages. Wow, we not Phil drifts that. aimlessly throughout space oh, after a shattered apart. Days. Far away, sentient life picks up a bizarre radio signal that only gets louder and louder. What is up, everyone? Phil here. Society is scared as it draws closer. That's floating through space. What's up, everyone? Phil here. Um, and I'm really gonna need you guys. Matt, I did message Matt on. Skype, I'm doing my worst financially right okay now. If I read these on my video, and he said that. I don't. I don't know what I'm fine. gonna do, you so guys. I have his permission. I just wanted to read these really quick to you guys because there Damn, are some I wish we had screenshots like that other video. Oh shit, that is from the forum though. Okay. The other video, so this dude showed text that messages and everything. Mentioned. So Matt says the following. Talking about, right? uh, and I'm not, this isn't exactly quoted yeah, by the word, but it's mostly, you know, done in the sense that it's his words. God damn. So Matt said, I emailed Phil a couple plane, of days ago regarding how he's been speaking about the mods, etc., calling them pigs or idiots or scum or whatever. Pigs? He more or less told me that every single one of us is a bad person and that they should all apologize, even the ones that left peacefully. Okay? Then he goes on into this, I was commenting some stuff, and then he goes on to say a big paragraph. I know Wanglord was leaving. No, I was on Skype with him wasn't and everyone else. Oh, wow, I remember time. Wanglord. I wanted to know if Mon Angry Joe tipped one tipped one dollar. Oh, it's shit, Joe Angry Joe. Future. Can we hang out some time and do some black guy stuff? Because I forgot I'm Angry black. Joe was black. You Big know, ups. me, you, and other Joe. Smoking black and milds, eating chicken, drinking Kool-Aid. Maybe we can shuck and jive to Phil's greatest hits. Sounds good to me, Angry Joe. Can't wait to do it, buddy. So he tried it on Phil. Make sure to bring you a really, really expensive, big-ass computer. Omar tried to unban him, but so I can play didn't Fallout have the 3 permissions. On. I log into my account a little while later, and Phil had de admin me and Hazard already. So there were no staff members or admins left other than Wanglord and Omar, who had limited permissions. Obviously, then the shit no, hit the fan because nobody wasn't could moderate. Why? DSPIG in 4188 tipped one dollar. Guys, the solar system exploding caused my credit card bills to double. I don't know how to fix this. <laughs> I, I really need wrong. a miracle right now. You know what I mean? E -e 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 you know what I mean? No, you dumb bitch. I'm going to need one. like magic what? money to just fall Down out of the sky. Punch tipped one dollar. The year is 2086 and dark is dead and in the ground. He has hey, a webcam a very in his casket pulse. so you can watch him. I don't know about you can still tip. Oh, the God. money goes to Dark Jr., who is a wheelchair symbol like Rob and Sadella. Well, cutting his grass today, Franks and Beans. I am high <laughs> as Butterfly Puff Harder. Guess I closed the window for now. And the, all the, I think I guess there was like porn and all this other crap that was being uploaded onto the forum. Get the fuck out of me at first. Everyone's no, you dumb bitch. It wasn't fraudulent. But Why? Phil has Did stated himself, many times one that stuff from Wait, the forums were lost because of this. Wait, are we still watching an that's not I true thought at we all. were making a collective story about happened, DSP in the future. Him I wanted to make it right, so I got the server and passwords from him and logged into the server, went into the database and changed my username's group. No, you dumb bitch. People it derail the stream around. with negative contributions, what? dude. Anonymous tipped one dollar. That's then a good question. Do they count as being negative if they go to all me? of their currency and they send it through a tube? DSP huh. uses a tractor I beam and says thanks for the money. You are my bitch and flies off. I, damn, that seemed like something I would have on a soundboard too, but it's definitely not. I probably have. To, I think I. Th I think I got. Thanks for the. Thanks for the money. Fuck you. Fuck you. I have no. Your money I just anyway. said fuck you. I have your money anyway. That was uh, him, Mike, and Tim Schaefer. Okay, no. Fuck you. Seriously. I don't know. Maybe I don't. Seriously. Have it. Fuck you. That might have been one of them really old ones I'm thinking about. Thank you very, 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 <laughs> very, 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 very much. Well, obviously. I need to find his now. It's probably still over here somewhere. For administrator. Then I went onto the form and made Phil an admin again. And in about 30 minutes, he had removed all of the spam. No posts were lost at this all. Forum, I also backed forum up journal, the forum so after weird. he finished removing the spam so he wouldn't lose anything. He, uh, it's some hot, so he uh, wouldn't lose anything. Hot SOK streams about it too from back then. Um, let's see. 
And then I asked about the lemon, because originally Phil had blamed the lemon for the stuff on the forums. Phil later apologized the for this. The person, the lemon, or the true, computer, the lemon? Again, from the words of Matt. I think you mean the person. Lemon ended up getting yes, death the threats person, for no lemon. reason. Well, Phil obviously. Phil really burned the fuck out of all the bridges he had with us. Me and Onox went on the forums to find out why Phil was able to be banned. Turned out when we remade the forums, whoever set up the warning system forgot to make user group 4 immune to warnings. So I turned that on so admins could no longer be banned. You made your but quick buck, but at the expense of losing your hardcore fan base. The Forgot what that the one guys was. that make the software literally said... Well, time no, to turn next bug back on. Wow. Wow. My goodness, dude. The guy Future that made the software literally said... Hey, past Tevin, it's you from 2030. You have to stop the streams. Two years from now while I'm hanging out with my black friend, Angry Joe, Phil comes to my house and shoots up the place with his Connecticut gangsters riding his horse. R.I.P. Other Joe. Oh shit. Well if I got until... I got a long time though. So it, it work out. I gotta, I gotta warn Angry Joe about this too, my black friend Angry Joe. Do not upgrade live forums to this because it has massive security holes. He's also been saying that the mods broke the agreement we had. Here's proof we didn't. Let's see. And then he sends me a... Guys, oh, image, which was... Let's see, proposed changes. And these were changes, I will see if I can post this as a link. Uh, I'll, I'll, you know what, I'll actually- Was I muted the whole time? Damn it. As a, I'm going to screen cap this and I'm going oh, to put man. this in the video I did it all in overlay. Reverse. Instead of seeing this right now, I'm gonna overlay this, okay? But it says, I won't close Feels threads bad. except for, I won't ban anyone that will request. I won't, so I won't ban anyone, but will request people be warned banned appropriately if I find something offensive. Honestly, Quick Champions isn't dead anymore, dude. As they got to talk no about it on, uh, at QuickCon. Anyway, but it's another, Allegedly. it's another positive, oh my god, it's another positive check balance system. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna supply I'm this, I'll see if I can, can I, yeah, I can save this image as, I'm actually doing it right now. But by the time I am done, you will have the staff, this already. by the way. Okay. Let's go back to the Skype No, you dumb bitch, I do do we have to read it or? Time alternate timeline 07 tipped one dollar um, in an alternative universe. Dave is at his job in Connecticut. So Beachy said that literally Trump everything finally Phil pays his bills. Dave gets promoted in a pay raise. I thought I have paused. In ten years, he opens talking. up his gaming and pizza shop. He has his own house and wife. If it wasn't for Trump, Dave would be okay. No, you dumb bitch! It wasn't fraudulent. Why? <laughs> Quake Champions tip $1, the year is 3,982, the Saints still haven't won a Super Bowl, but Warmaster like Chief Zion Williamson has usurped robot Drew Brees Princes, and thrown Princes. him into the ocean. As Brees begins to malfunction and sink, he asks if he should have P. Kitten at the one-yard line. No, you dumb bitch, it wasn't That's brother. what we need. We need what? Drew Brees. As Down a forward punch tipped the one dollar. The year the is 2088. And Dark and Chris Chan finally do a couch co-op together, yeah. sitting in their wheelchair it's symbol and oxygen tanks. They play Feels Sonic bad. Mania 8, and Chris notices that Sonic's arms are blue, and Sonic he starts Mania to hold out. 8. He yells Jolay and strangles Dark. No, you dumb bitch! It wasn't fraudulent. Didn't, uh, Why? Didn't Halloween Chan stream 31,000 AD tipped one dollar. There's a sick alien have come to name Tevin after my ancient enemy, who has an army of silicon trolls, and they do negative butterfly against me. My new soulmate left the station. It's his fault. So yeah, don't expect to see her again. It's Tevin's fault. Is it gonna just be someone else's fault why you don't have a girlfriend one day? Maybe. I mean, I guess it's kind of that way with Panda. Was this just with DSP type? Yeah, I guess so. Contact me personally. Oh, very nice. So this is at the time that the forums went down. He said that everything he's been he saying is a lie. He won't close That didn't happen. And no, won't ban. It didn't happen. Open-minded didn't happen. Tom Criticism Howard tipped created. $1. They should be I saw specific. a guy that looks like my best yeah. friend. So uh, have more he interaction. Older. That's not I happening. saw him walking with that be black guy, Angry nope. Joe. He told me to not release Fallout 76 and Contact said him. he's from the future. None of these things... He None told me to meet happened. up with Phil Spencer. I think this guy is crazy. 
back to back to back to back to back to back. Not one of these like things Drake. happened, except that Yanks you can contact them at Dark, Dark Side Field at Hotmail. I see all this sports talk. That's the one thing Have that happened. Have you guys happened. considered watching baseball? It is a great sport. This baseball weekend, promotion. the Yankees will be playing the Red Sox in London. What a lofty idea by the MLB to that have a game weird. in the UK. I guess that's a good Thank you for the point, Alice. There we go. And out of 313, you guys. Yeah, yeah. A rumor is bowing like the mayor. Nothing I could do. Did he do any of these, though? Honest questions. He closed threads a lot. He banned people a lot. He not open-minded. Criticism threads. People Do people even make those anymore? Because they get deleted so fast. At least they used to. Him and Ma should have more interaction with him and Kekin every other Sunday. And that's no, you dumb bitch. Four it wasn't years later. fraudulent. Why? Oh, five years later. Anonymous tip being one dollar. Ket's robot that. body was a failed Patreon goal. Sheesh. Now Ket lives as a brain in a cardboard box. Phil has yet to notice the difference. I can see that being the case. One point of contention that he Real says bad. in this post that I'm posting, it specifically the says post that he I'm would posting? consult mods when banning somebody. How and, long is he going to um, be on this? Okay. So I was just trying to figure out that this no, was an accident. Did you actually not fucking read this shit, Tess? How dare you? Jay tipped one dollar. The year is 2099, and the Great Gout well, Wars had just so ended, and detractors have lost LSB, GTG, Angry Joe, and Other Joe while Dark lost Infinite, Frogs playing golf, and Italian Crow and Quake Champions has still not been released. Oh my god. Sammy Samosa comment. DSP is the greatest heel on YouTube. I love it. Me too, Sammy. Me too. I didn't think scrolling out a bunch would give me Sammy Samosa out of nowhere, but there you go. With most of his old mods. And that was pretty much the end of our conversation on that. So, what I can gather, <laughs> just to generally. Everybody sum up buying what the Gout Wars, dude. Okay. Everybody. Basically, the general That's gist that. is that no, some random bitch user banned Phil by accident Why? because there was a security seven tipped one dollar. Oh, I don't have a cool story, story to tools. say. I just wanted to tell you, Negro, that Brazil is going to play again Paraguay in a few minutes. Go, 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 Brazil. Brazil promotion? No, you dumb Stump. bitch. It wasn't fraudulent. This stream is completely Why? flown off the fucking rails. Phil Spencer tipped one dollar. I just met up with Todd Howard, Tevin, and that black guy, Angry Joe. They told me we must unite and get the Ring of Sauron to rule the realm of men. Only we together can stop the apocalypse of Dark Side Phil. He comes on horse at night stealing our bits. And big ups to Phil Spencer. This kind of went out of control. I forget, does he... Ending up in the forums yeah, he's still working getting himself, completely huh? wrecked. Yeah, and, and people supposed to hate him because he did something on years ago. For whatever reason, they were supposed to give DSP another chance. Happened around the same time as Twitch, but I think people had payments for my What was that audio? And my old Washington mansion, happened? as well as my Hawaii resort and my parents' part. house. Also, I have to pay alimony to my ex-wife. The best way to support me right now is to tip me. I get that immediately. I don't even know how he could. I don't know if he have a divorce cat. I, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. To be honest, he need to take like a month off the internet, and even then, he would have to shut down so much conversations. He wouldn't even want to tell people what he ate if if cat was to leave him because it's just gonna be some depressing shit or turkey burgers or something. Remember how happy he was when he discovered turkey burgers. He used to brag about him every day, talking about grilling them up, and he would toast the buns, the put a little dab a mayonnaise on it. No cheese. Don't Hunt worry, you guys. He's being Is healthy. Is even still around? Or did he disappear after the sock proved him right? Nah, that's okay, pretty much. Not, not that's okay. Sammy pretty much went away. Even when, uh, I thought he would have came back and bragged after the SOK went away, but because he didn't, it kind of make him seem a little more illegitimate, to be honest. It happened around the same break. time as Twitch, but I think people had ill feelings. Did. I'm thinking, in my opinion, that a lot of this happened because of the ill feelings. I was right the Twitch. whole time, now, Freddy. One thing I have to say is, again, I don't. I, I have Matt's words to go off of, okay? But all I can say is that I, I don't know if Phil didn't accurately, you know, if he consulted with Matt or not. The rules that I posted Matt, up, I Monday. I had the image as a still image if you want to go i'll put the time mark if you guys want to uh, go back to it but 
Did you? If no, Phil you was didn't. Breaking Why any do you lie to us in this video? In place with Talking mods, about timestamps and video links and shit. Get out of here. Said, did he think to himself, well, I paid for the website. It's my website. I can do what I want with it. Was it kind of just him taking control on the spot? I, I'm, I'm not too sure really what happened. But, again, I, again, I, I feel like, again, this oh goes along God. with many of Phil's rash decisions, to be quite honest. But... But? To me, I, like Matt said, he burned a lot of his bridges with Matt, again with these people that were super dedicated she? to his forums. And I forget who Matt I, is. I, I don't understand. He calls them children. All oh, they acted like children, and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> like, dude, how do these people act like children? Like these people. Didn't were you super say DSP fans were dumb two years ago before you this area law? People lot? maintained your forums, read your rules, went to forums, how dare you? emailed other members. These people were dedicated. These people were mature people. These people weren't children. Oh, okay? yeah. These people were, you know, some of them friends of mine. I knew some of these people personally. Like, I, I, it's just disappointing to me that so many people are gone. This doesn't help your community because, again, people associate themselves you think these are your with other members. members. They associate yeah. themselves with their friends. Stage. They have what? interest in Why? Them, okay? Dark side Phil tipped one dollar. And I do remember this is an automated recording. A toxic, dude. That's how you get I, clubs. Philip of House Horse, have defeated the realms of men. Phil Spencer of House Microsoft. Todd Howard of Bethesda Nation. Did he Kevin run the, the world Almighty literally? Of House Glow Gang. And the last black guy, Angry, angry fucking Joe. Joe. I now posse's every bit. Angry fucking. Why is Angry Joe here now? A comment that Phil made in terms angry of. Angry Joe gonna chat, help out. He gonna help. He said help to, when people everybody? were att attacking him for I can it. See it. He and said, still, oh, he's still, you know, you don't go to Devil my content to, to talk to your friends or to use the chat. Or two, or you should three, be watching four. my content for me. And if you're going to my bad. content for any other reason, then there's a problem. Now, the real question is, we, okay. will uh, Delrith still be around? You see, I, I, I don't, I, I'm trying to understand, first of all, why Phil is so public with some of these statements. Like, why did Phil have to make a tweet about, the, even if the lemon did or didn't do it, about the whole thing on Twitch? Why did he the make a public lemon? tweet about it? Like, you know, even if the lemon did, uh, even if the lemon did contribute to destroying the forums, which you know, obviously we know at this point he didn't. Why does Phil have to publicly say it on Twitter? Like, all like, is that a, is that again? Should he have made a video about it instead of every lot? Being positive, right? Is that a positive? Post is this a positive video? Is that a negative what? post? Do you <laughs> really think timeline 08 this dude he could have talked to in real life? Too many games. He's like, why did he make he a tweet about it, man? He isn't a total spurg about it. Uh. Dave actually finds him to be a cool guy and not a wheelchair symbol. Dave and Lord go back to his condo to play game. Lord <laughs> becomes Panda. Later, Dwight cucks Lord later on. People are going to positively yeah, yeah. respond. To some, to him p calling out somebody by name on Twitter. Just think about this for a minute, and that's it's not a good you know. Thing, don't think about the stop other calling people stuff. out on Twitter. Think about when you know he goes on rants about him being you know I you know I hate it when people do this and the negativity's getting to me and there are, like if you read a lot of Phil's tweets late night like after he's uploaded his videos and after he's revealed his schedule for the coming days for his gameplay. He'll go on these little this mini Twitter rants where he'll talk about life and he'll funny. talk about good like the and being evil, at home and social and all that. It looks like it's on a slant. Like how he's a like he's a victim in this like, so horrible tell if relationship just because with of his how fans. His and, camera look. Again, I'm making general, actually just uh, a lot of generalizations here, but a lot of it is not po Again, if you want to talk it's in terms positive. of positive and negative, a lot of these posts that he makes at night. No, you don't. Page it wasn't problem. Positive. It's funny because he still do that he shit on one dollar. I'm an angry Joe oh, detractor. Man. He literally Five sexually harlove other Joe constantly. Once yes, you man. see well, it, you can't unsee it. This is the end of the year. A vape a nation. Sammy Samosa tipped four dollars and twenty cents. <laughs> Puff harder. I'm an angry <laughs> Joe detractor. Way, Kevin, you and you are me, but uh, it's time come on, he's a he's a positive, fun content no, creator. Bitch, it wasn't fraudulent. How dare you? Why? That's a negative meme. Two can Sam tipped one dollar and ninety nine cents. Meanwhile, the year is twenty sixty nine, and a have, wait a minute. angry crow is chilling on the power lines with white feathers oh, and a developing DSP hairline, that. still calling up a storm while never having any of DSP's wives sit on his beak in a yellow thong. Wait. Huh? I'm very confused, dude. I need a sound clip for this, and I don't have one. 
That's not true. They're very negative, actually. And No, you dumb bitch, it wasn't fraudulent. Why? Kyle Reese oh. tipped one dollar. I'm muted. I'm, okay, ISA. I'm gonna mute it. I'm muting this for now. My God. Okay, okay, you can hit me for real. <laughs> last night. <laughs> last night when I said I was going to watch those videos, Right after I was done with the stream, I thought to myself, maybe I shouldn't have said I'm going to watch those videos because they're still on YouTube. And every lot, if anything, can make them private. Right. So I was like, OK, but I, maybe you never know. Maybe he might actually say, oh, Tevin's being too toxic. Let me get rid of it right now. I got to give him the evil man voice. So before I started the stream, I said to myself, you know what? Let me download the videos and I'm not going to say anything about it. Then if you don't delete the videos, I'll be like, oh, well, there you go. It was a fun time. And if you do delete them or private them, I'll be like, oh, it's fuck. You fucking private the videos. That's hilarious. So there you go. Feels bad. <laughs> yeah, he just he just privated it. I thought that would happen, too, but I didn't want to say I thought it would. And it it, it did. Can't change who you are, I guess. It's weird, because I got a shit ton of hard drives, and I download so much stuff, but I never download YouTube videos. Not that one. Good God, every Lord. Right. We got to finish this fucking video. We, we went off the rails so much. Necessary. We have to at least pretend okay. like we're watching the rest the of this. Thank you for watching the stream, Ari Lord. And that makes me a stronger person. My goodness. Tiger tipped one dollar. It's the year 2089. You know, I'm the last person and, left and, on know, Earth number seven after the war. All the bits and frosted flakes were destroyed by Philip of House Horse. I had to murder my best friend Chester Cheeto because he had the last bag of Cheetos. Rest in bits. Then I get a, a, a hundred dollars from Spots. Thank you. You didn't even get a fucking notification. Turban is a thief, and his money is fulfilled. Well, thank you for the tip, man. I really appreciate it. I gotta find a better echo solution one day. Maybe. I need to figure out this fancy program. I'm like a robot more than an echo. A very weird robot. Oh, well, thank you for watching the stream a lot. Big ups. Uh, I remember, I remember the last time Eric Lord overreacted to something. Was that one video or two videos? And then he took his Patreon down. It was all weird. It was all weird. It's, it's all right, Ariel. It's almost over. Situations with. of cyberbullying, and he's in situations. He didn't even say anything back. like dumb in the video. Come on, man. Get back up. Oh, and use that right. I understand. That inner, that inner moral this very toxic video. To use it to push forward through the had bad to take him. Had to take it really down. Bad, he's able to bring people uh, into content, and that. Attitude resonates with people and gives people strength. Maybe I should have liked the video because I didn't like the video. State or they're not really happy in their situations. His content can add some. That's it. I didn't like the fucking video because I posted mindset. a comment and I didn't like it. But that's why he privated it. To this mindset and the fact. God that damn it. it. Creates a situation where Phil never has bad, a filter. Man. Okay. This ties back to what I was I'm saying about my Phil's Twitter just post hit. about Lemon. Was it necessary to write on Twitter, <laughs> guys? It was the lemon who did it. It was the lemon. I mean, I don't know if My Phil's goodness. argument is, oh, well, everyone was asking me for an explanation as to why uh, the forums were taken down. It's like, well, was it really necessary to call someone out by name on Twitter and accuse them when you really didn't have all of the evidence? Wait, what are we saying now? About lemon. Was it necessary to write on Twitter, guys? Was it necessary it was to private a video it? while it somebody watching it? I mean, I don't After know if Phil's argument is, oh, well, everyone was asking me for an explanation as to why the no, you dumb bitch. It was, uh, like, was it really necessary to call someone out <laughs> All by name Tevin on Twitter? You guys, I, I have goodness. to tell you the truth. At least I set my hockey I am Sammy Samosa. I hypnotized myself and created this detractor man, personality. Man, man.
It time to wake up and by the way I was right huff red. There and accuse them when you really didn't have all of the evidence. And then because like it, it the was true because a few months world. later or a few weeks later he admitted on Twitter that he was world. wrong and that it wasn't the lemon. <laughs> so why make a rash decision? I didn't decision even watch the fucking stupid uh, the as the king thing. Because obviously there's signs that this mentality doesn't work because Phil oh had a breakthrough God. moment where he's like, "Oh shit." I said it was the lemon, but well, it really supposed wasn't to be the streaming like 30 minutes And I just now. told everyone on Twitter. Now I got to go back on Twitter and apologize, and I got man up, and I got... Some dude made it and stopped uploading on the channel. There's signs of it already. You know what? That shit might be on my channel there. now. It's out there like on my Twitter and YouTube one. for you people. And I'm I should sure you people know <laughs> you're taking it for your montages. And I should private the video during a stream. <laughs> No, you dumb you're bitch, it wasn't fraudulent. Uh, that'd be a sweet, a sweet meme. Lord WTF, we are all being positive here. Oh, man. Area law, what the fuck? We were all being positive. Exactly. You're right, man. I, I honestly feel it's a situation where oh, that's a Phil great would rather idea. be right. He wouldn't be able to download it that fast. He probably and could not. That, for I me, is not doing what needs to be done. My <laughs> mindset that is a very brutal, down to earth, do or die, bad. natural selection kind of survival instinct kind of mindset is Wait, that. Wait, still talking about In games? this world, you got to do what you got to do. Oh. Okay? In this world, you, you have gotta to find do a solution to all of those video games because that is what produces any types of results in any situation. So, is it necessary to always be right? Is it necessary to get the last uh, word? No. Is it necessary to have these giant rant sessions on Twitter that could potentially piss off your viewers? Is it no, you dumb bitch. It wasn't necessary problem. to make these decisions. Why? You have to consider. <laughs> Discount Inferno tipped one dollar and one cent. This is one of the funniest back in the last time today. he had his Big weird drama. I wanted to download Lord. those videos too. Better start archiving Aryan thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs did. up. And by the time I thought about it, it was definitely gone. Consider that going forward. Phil, See what I'm he like should have did. It was like right, right at the end of the last stream, but obviously wasn't watching that one. Right at the end of the last stream, he should have privated this. That would have been fucked. Your mindset is just I I I want to have to watch the stupid back in time stuff instead. Next year in particular. Is an attitude My plan would have been ruined. I would have had to do the thing I was going to do anyway. Because I can tell you from every all everything I've said in this video up until this point, I have not seen the shift. You promised you last promised January DSP. that you, you were going promised. to focus on the games and the positivity and not deal with drama and have a positive mindset. Oh yeah, remember when you said he do. wasn't going to private this to take it out? He said this in this that. in this I video. I have not seen that in the hey. way. You handle it's your gonna be unprivated the eventually, dude. Stop being negative. Who watch your content. I have not seen that. You cannot consistently blame others. There needs to be a part where you Ooh, need to blame yourself. You. I guess this dude you knows one me. thing while being groomed by Dave: how to talk forever about nothing and never get anywhere with it. Feels wheelchair man. Well, that's hard for some it people. Is it is so hard. Nice. It is so hard for people to ex to ex accept that a part of them is wrong. And what? Believe me, okay. Last year, now, I was in a, a bad second. spot, not wanting to accept this is bullshit. not wanting to do what was necessary. But being in college, being around people who oh. really pushed me to do certain things, I it's realized like big boy dumper right through now. brutality, I realized that there are certain things in this world that you have to do. No matter if it's the right thing, no matter if it's the <laughs> wrong thing, there are some things in this world that you just have to do. Because if you don't do them, there are consequences. I didn't expect this weird okay? monologue. You're already way. seeing those consequences with how people are retaliating Isn't even the end. are acting and the number of hate videos. Uh, 15 people minutes left might be close to the end pretty spoken much. spoken to how you've acted, okay? And I can't speak, I cannot say for certain if you're past the point of no return. Because there are many people out there who will not accept you. Who, this, you know, regardless of this video, regardless of any video, regardless of this. There are people... Even if you do, I have don't know this what video you're talking about. I'm hoping you do. That video Some was people private. might not even care. I never saw it People before. might ignore that, may ignore all the facts, and might say, you know what? I, it's 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 done. I I'm I am I don't care. I've moved on. And that might be a it's major a good thing you moved on. Big ups. What's necessary with your content? Okay. Feels what's good, necessary man. for your content is doing what you have to do. Okay. Worrying Final about solution? 1080p 60 frames per second, worrying about the small details, that's not necessary. Okay? What is necessary is worrying, is worrying about the people, the direct people who watch your content. It's worrying about how that you sounds... present yourself to people. 
Mm. How would you, if you weren't you, how would Depending you respond the situation, to yourself? Like it could be a rough you idea. Being, like, let's let's like flip the let's flip the DSP tables. care about what the people at Frey and Maya think more than what is real thing. That's why it's shame for them. Don't have experience with this because you know Phil does has admitted that he doesn't watch other YouTubers. He doesn't have the time, so he he doesn't have experience looking up to someone, following someone, seeing someone's mindset and their attitudes and their internal, you know, struggles kind of bounce up and down like a, <laughs> like a wire graph. You know? You know? How would you see yourself if the tables were flipped? How would you respond? How if the table flipped, put I can't put anything on top of it. I, I, I think that, the, you know, look, almost like a look yourself in the mirror the kind of mentality, nation. I think that's what you need to Sparks do. tipped $4.20. Puff harder. I understand, Dave. I also meet 16-year-old boys, invite them to my hotel room, and afterwards never talk to them again. Nothing yeah, that's I a perfectly do. normal no, thing, exactly. It wasn't fraudulent. Obviously. Future Dark tipped $1. I have a new Tier 3 emote. I know Tevin was a popular figure in the community. He oh really God. was a cool guy. I was sad to hear he got hit and killed by one of those street cars. <laughs> Everyone see that? Here it's a DJ table with a little spinning egg. Pretty neat. Pretty neat, right? Well, there are, again, there are things in this world you just have to do. Okay, you need. To, it's that pushing yourself. And I honestly think that is he gonna is DSP gonna randomly bring this up out of context like two months from now that Air Raid Law was being bullied by Turvin? I'll make you a stronger person if you can push yourself to that level where you do things that are necessary. And you know what? I'll give you some credit. Because there are some decisions you've been making or plans that you've been saying that you're going to do that are good, positive things that will be good for your content. Like the reintroduction of Project 7. That's a, and a great creative, you know, even though it was kind of, you know, the old series was a bit cliche and some people had problems with it. I thought it was a cool creative series back in 2012, back in 2010 when you first started it. And I think reviving the original concept will be a really great thing for your fans and viewers. And I you think that some happy some music great for attention this, around this your screen. content. I think that is a great thing to do for 2015. I think focusing on unique projects like that might be something that will be great for your content. I totally agree. I totally think that that is something that will help your content. And But, you know, my main point of contention is the gameplay. You know, how you handle your gameplay, your playthroughs, you know, your, your amount of uploads. Because we're looking at a pretty hectic gaming season in 2015. There's a million games Benny, the coming out in the spring and, and uh, you know, all in spring leaks. to some black dude be positive and watch old videos of Phil's boy toy instead of taking me for a walk. I'm so confused right now. Is this another, is this another evil meme? No, it's not a funny fucking summer. meme. It's something that could ruin someone's goddamn fucking life. You know, I don't know if anyone knows, there's just so many games that have been delayed and now they're awesome. all coming out in the spring. Being it is shit. So, you know, how are you going to handle them? Are you going to handle them like you did this past fall with all the games that came out on that one day in November? Or are you going to try to mix it up a little bit? Oh shit, I get I it know. now. The future is unwritten, we shall okay. see. But I just hey, leave that dog alone. These points across. I'm surprised we didn't People have been asking but I guess for I'm... many, 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 many months. Yeah, I wasn't Ever since I like made four. my old videos, they've been wanting a follow-up. Usually around four, so no, you can't do something. Obviously, this video might be updated like in the future. Down forward because punch tip one dollar. The year is 2097, and Dark and Ghost are the last two streamers on Earth. They live together in a streamer house, and Dark gets mad because he has to help Ghost when he soils his wheelchair because Ghost oh, yeah, brings think, in the uh, tips. Alex Jones sounded Hands dumb wave. No, you dumb was, bitch, it wasn't fraudulent. Why? Future like, Dark tipped one dollar. Like, now I'm no. not going to I'm make like, Turbin's death all about me, but I just lost my number one fan and I could really use some bits <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it all about him, but man, dude, I don't know, I don't like I'm still here. It's so many times he said stuff like I'm still here and I'm still around. When the original discussion was talking about how a dude killed himself. And he's like, well, I'm still around. I'm still here. I'm still doing it, man. I can't just I can't just be like, oh, I give up on life. Like, you can't do what Etika did. That was Topics about a weird, the Twitch a weird collapse thing. and the forum collapse won't be as relevant. A very weird thing. However, I think I can't just give up on life. Be relevant, it sounds that has good. been relevant for Phil sounds ever since good. he started is the attitude. And I think doing what's necessary and having that attitude 
is what will propel him in the future and have and he won't he he wouldn't even have to do Wait, why not even sign in it's bullshit mentality i i i believe that you know that might be debatable but i believe that you know i believe that if he had this mentality for the future i believe that that could be that could be the case okay they're just again like i said there are things you have to do and you don't think twice about them okay there might be some brutal oh, no, things. Is that you have what the hell right? Xbox told him to do? You don't want to do, okay? Sign but in, in some regards, account, you have to, okay? For so long, you didn't it's want weird. to. I never be played the guy. one game about online the change, on the 360 before. The camera to direct capture change, and this kind of even reflected this mentality. No, you said to bitch, people, it wasn't it's time to make a change. Why? Sometimes you gotta Dave's do what you gotta do. I remember you said that. Dave's eulogy for TEV. Hello, everyone. DSP here. Asterisk snort. <laughs> As you all know, TV and I were never good friends. But he was a fellow gamer and apparently, from all the tweets I've heard about him, he was a pretty good guy. Meet you at the crossroads, buddy. Well, you know, sometimes when he streamed, you know, even though he was making fun of me, he had a lot of people show up, man. A lot of people no, really liked the guy. Bitch, it wasn't problem. So rest in peace, ah! man. Sorry, he's gone. Dave's kinky future tipped one dollar. The year is 2021, and Dave is finalizing his divorce. Aryan Lord decides to make amends with Dave, so he visits him in Washington. As Ket returns home to collect the rest of her belongings, she walks in on Dave tossing a Ryan Lord salad with McDonald's jam. Oh my. God! What was this, what was this stream today? Jesus I Christ! I can't leave it on a channel. I can't leave it on this channel. Because the log is going to take it out. When Cheeto tipped Maybe. $100, yeah, Turkey, probably, bring probably. back SPCC. Press 3 for Greek. Bro, Cheeto. Let's get you up there on the leaderboard. I don't, I don't know what the hell is stream People, turned when into. When you went from camera it's to direct nonsense. capture. Because that was what was necessary, okay? That, that, made, that was a change that you probably didn't want to do. You were more comfortable with the camera for a while. But like you knew deep down that was what you had to do. And so you did. Let me see. And look what happened. Oh shit, I forgot All right, I was watching on YouTube. What, that's, did he leave the Panda Lee one? <laughs> he left that one up. That one wasn't toxic enough. A nation. Do them, Obviously. You have to, you don't, there are I want to see how his last gameplay Puck video looked. The year is 2325 and scientists come across down, ancient good, YouTube technology and find Dark's videos. They also find Turbin's videos too. Oh, Based shit, on all their butterfly, it, so. they rename narcissistic personally disordered to hypnosis. Feels good, man. No, you dumb bitch. It wasn't fraudulent. <laughs> Why? That's Aryan an amazing, amazing thing to think about you got sometimes. The Mickey, and now you must pay. Is people Black finding dude. all of the weird There's shit that, pe that people There's only one way to finish this. Online, get in the ring, man. Like 3,000 years Meet from me now. where Lil Josh, Mama, I'm sorry, was filmed. Don't bring oh, your shit. homies. Aryan Gord out. Oh, come on. Well, obviously, the ESP was in 2017. This is epic footage. Pretty cool, right? Remind me of those DSP3 videos. Just walking around and filming TV screens with dudes standing around. I might have already passed up a gameplay video, but I guess this Fallout shit could come. Let's see how Aaron Law did his uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. offline recorded What's videos. Is this is a review take USA intro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? I can't understand how he felt. He like watched a lot of my videos and thought, oh, this guy's what you should aspire not to be. But nowadays it's different, and I think that's how he felt. You know what I mean? He got to pig explain my entire life the day after I did it. Probably don't oh, now I got a fucking a tip that says, you know, oh, you're, you're pretending like you know everything about Tevin. Uh, no. All aboard. This is the new I'm just stuck. I'm just saying, man. I'm, sa I'm saying what other people told me. So, so oh, there's some sweet DLC, I'm sure. Eventually something's going to happen. It's going to be pretty exciting. Oh, there's an option to update them. Why is sound so... Uh, it's like you're talking through a camera. Is 
it's on. Oh my god, it's like the same description as DSP. <laughs> Uh, I enjoy all your content, man. Keep it up. Exactly. I agree. See, it's pretty good. Oh, come on, bro. How is the first part of a new playthrough, basically? What's going on here? It's like a depression video. Oh, back to this, then. And that's the way you have to handle yourself because even if you have to do the dirtiest, ugliest things, it you know in the end they have to be done. And it's you know it's that coming, it's that mentality joining together with your moral side. It's that coming together and that joining, that interlacing, that looping together. Those the two graphics becoming option? one. That is what makes you strong, confident. You need. You got to interlace, you guys. Make, make sure to inter interlace. Warrior. You know, this is survival of the fittest really on YouTube. There are a lot of people on YouTube fighting for the view, fighting for that dollar. Confident, unique. That joining. This reminds me of a DSP That interlacing, that looping together. Fighting for that no, dollar. Those Those should should be fraudulent. What? <laughs> for that. Fighting Dave for that dollar. Fighting dollar. for that view. Glad to see comedy is still going strong. I taught Phil everything he knows. He is one of the original kings of comedy and in a few years it will elevate humanity to greatness. So tip today to keep comedy alive and so he can keep Gorilla away from his house. I agree. Big up. Coming one, that is what makes you strong. Original Confident. king of comedy and that all these jokes are stolen. That is what make bad. you a warrior. You know, this is survival of the fittest on YouTube. There are a lot of people on YouTube fighting for the view, fighting for that dollar. Fighting for that you know, dollar. You gotta be tough. You gotta be cutthroat, man. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta fucking go like out private there. Videos you, when this people is your job. This is your business. This is your hobby. You gotta be cutthroat, man. You got to be ruthless. I know, agree. In some cases, you know. That's why this stream has to be private. I'm not telling you to make bad decisions towards your fan and viewers, but I got to be cutthroat and ruthless. One pool got me singing, man. Spurns wants to fly man. away. Do da da do da da. I think of a ten seventeen. Things you just got to do. You got to be ruthless. Your channel in the future, and there are some. And again, like I said, with Project Seven and you some gotta of these other warrior, changes, you got to be a warrior. You said you were going to do a movie review series. No holes There are barred. some changes I see that point towards this direction of Like you gotta be like Goldberg when he was in WCW, but dude. Continue them. Look back at some of these decisions that you've made and, you know, kind of reconcile them a little bit. I love the motivational of the end of it, though. attacking the viewer and attacking people and saying that they're at Holy home. shit, is motorcycle Please due back for another weekend of shenanigans? And it's not the weekend, though. Lead you forward now, wait a minute. A good era what day was content? that when he was riding up and down the street? Because, you know, you guys know this, that I, you know, owed a lot to Phil when I was in high school because I was Definitely at a different weekend, point in my man. life. What the Obviously, fuck, bro? I'm past that, though. You know, I'm at a point where it's not necessary to always watch Phil's content and be involved with the gaming stuff. My life is that at a different stage where I don't need to. And that's somebody down, kind of somebody down the street was yelling at him when he was passing and pretending honesty, to not hear him. He probably didn't, though. It wasn't actually necessary for me to they didn't stay this video, outside. but a lot I thought, of people wanted to get shot. I have free time because I'm on vacation, so I said, why not? Another edit. In conclusion... I just for the last to like wrap up four here, minutes, I think no. I've gone on enough about these various topics. I think I've spoken my mind. Um, it's weird, it's I want to thank like anyone really covered a lot. who's watching. Whether you support Phil, whether you dislike Phil, whether you like me, whether you dislike me, regardless of who you are watching this video, it was a little too fancy to and careful with stuff for this. I guess. watching it, spreading the word. Because if anyone wants to know my feelings about this whole situation, if anyone wants to know my feelings about Phil, no, you dumb bitch, it wasn't fraudulent. This what? Video. I am Lord it. tipped one dollar. Oh. Sorry, I pervaded that way. video turban, but I had an accident. If you know what I mean, you know how it is. <laughs> I am a warrior. If anyone wants to know my feelings about this whole situation, if anyone wants to know my feelings about Phil, direct them to this video. I am keeping it up. I am keeping it on my channel. Wrong! That's not true! It is an accurate representation of everything that I believe in, and it is no way, there is no strings attached from any other things in this video. It is all 100% I believe in, with, in terms of Darkseid Phil and his community. I will say that I do not believe that Phil is a bad person at heart, okay? I think Phil is a 
an extremely, you know, like he's got a good heart deep down. But, you know, everyone gets led astray, everyone gets deluded, and everyone goes down these dark paths in their life. I think everyone can agree that they fucked up one, at least once. Has DSP been on a dark path for nine years? Or twice Maybe. in their life. You know, everyone makes mistakes. You've heard that He's obviously a drug addict. Sure. But I, I don't, I mean, I think Phil can self-correct. I've seen the signs before, all right, and I, I don't think he's an absolutely horrible person. I know there are many people that would like to believe that he's like the second spawn of Satan. I, I, I don't believe that. He, he, sure, he's made a lot of fuck-ups. I want Ariel you know, to talk about the incident. He, at him for, he should have kept doing these year in I'm hoping videos. that what I said in this video is, you know, he can use it if he ends up watching. I'm sure people are going to link him to it and he'll see it. But I, I'm hoping that he can take some criticism. Yeah, link DSP to this video, you guys. I think that it's just hate. This is not a hate video. This is not spewing hate. I'm hoping that he can understand it and move to a different you know era of his channel i'm really hoping that that is the case moving forward um i would like to make one final request before i switch off the video and throw it into sony vegas so i can edit the whole thing and put it up on youtube yo i would like he well yeah he did edit this because he had the three jump cuts and he still couldn't figure out a better solution for his audio I want the audio to sound a certain way, so let me film my TV, but I'm going to edit the video anyway. To make a request yeah. that... Request. Listen up. In the future, people leave me out of this drama, okay? I would like people to leave... In the future, leave me out of this drama, but in the future, if somebody asks about my feelings on DSP, point them towards this video I put out in 2014. Well, that sounds leave good. Leave me out of this from now on. I want out... I said this to the SOK podcast that I was on last night. I, or not last night, I think it was two nights ago. Um, I basically, I want out. I want this to be done with. I want to forget about this whole, or not, not necessarily forget, but I want to move on. All right, I seriously want to move on. Um, I have been involved in this for a while. I've been involved with people tw uh, you know, tweeting me and messaging me on YouTube. It's also odd he say DSP always want to get the last word, but then he upload a video saying I'm not going to talk about it anymore, and if somebody asks me about it, look up the video. Whatever. To, it's almost uh, what my opinions and my feelings are. People have retweeted, and anytime I can't I even explain Phil, what you missed. Say, why are you tweeting Phil? Why you are you doing this? Why are you doing that? A very unique stream. Um, I would ap appreciate it if people would keep me out of the Dark Side Phil stuff from now on, okay? I will still generally see what he's doing from afar, but to a certain extent... No, you dumb bitch, it wasn't fraudulent. Like, to what? the intent... Big hearted Phil tipped one dollar. Thank you, Aryan Lord. I am misunderstood. I just had dozens of moments of weakness and mishaps, like the time my pants just happened to come up and my hand kept slipping up and down and up and down on my penne. Then the pig goo just happened to get all over. Exactly. You now you finally understand how DSP feel about See, fucking time. Was once involved in this content, it's over. Okay. The co-op. You know, I, I think at this rate, you know, I don't know. You know, probably like, somebody worded it out for us in a, in a, a coherent way. Man. Like, unless I'm on an extended thank you. No, vacation, really, like, really, now, thank you. It's it's too it's too difficult. So, you know, I, you. I think <laughs> that era is over. And you know, I I, I take the line, you know, of you know <laughs> that wouldn't be necessary for me. And I, I almost take the line from The Walking Dead. Uh, <laughs> the the um, you, what was the line? You can't go back, Bob. It's basically mine. You know you. You can't go back, you know, there's some things in the past. You just no, duh! Past. And you know, it's not like I'm leaving the online world. Uh, it's not that I'm leaving the online world completely. I still do many creative things on my YouTube channel, but I do it in a, in a different way now. I think it's more that I understand it. You know, there's an acceptance with what I understand with my channel, with the online world, what it means. There's an acceptance all around with it, and, um, I just would like people to respect my wishes that, you know, do not come to me saying... You know, I'm shocked at myself that I don't have the You Can't Change Who You Are, I guess, clip on my soundboard. Hey, oh, did you hear what Phil did? That kind of blows my I'm mind, I'm sure bro. I'm going to see it on my... On oh, him my saying sounds feed, good. Feed, well, no, I'm fucking stupid. Anyway. I got a lot of those. Sound good? Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Sounds okay, good. Sounds good. Sounds, sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds Wait a minute. Who are you? Hold on a second. You piece of shit, where you came from? 
absolutely okay, fierce AF. Yeah. So, in the future, I would appreciate it if you would leave me out of the DSP drama. If you would like to talk to me I'm about like, what my content the that is came for from. me on my channel with the people who enjoy my stuff that has nothing to do with Phil. It's randomly in the middle of a bunch of sounds good okay. and it doesn't have a name. But in terms of Dark Side Phil stuff, I have no more interest in talking about it. I have no more... It, regardless if I'm talking to a fan, a fan. Or I'm talking to a critic, or who, I don't care. Is it a fan I, or not? I want it to end. And the people on the SOK podcast that I was on the other night, they respected those wishes. Okay, they were a very... I would like to give them a shout out and say that they were a very respectful group of people. That oh, yeah, podcast Fred, the most that I was on went very, very well. Um, he was totally going to disagree with you on that. I you know, my totally. interview very well. Um, it would be interesting, potentially. I know they made the offer to Phil to be on that podcast. I did say that if Phil was to go on that podcast, that they need to handle it in a mature manner, just like they handled my interview. And they said they would. But I, I, I feel like Phil thinks their podcast is just some hate podcast to just slander him, <laughs> but it's not. And, you know, maybe I can offer in this video. Come on, dude, they play video Phil games sometimes. Get out of here. Just negative. like he went on Kane Bringing the Pains podcast a while back. I yeah, that was definitely when, a while back. He has gone on podcasts that. Why did he go on no name bullshit podcast, though? He's been open and to it. People with bad good. audio so quality. If he's been open to that, maybe he'll be open to this. Who knows? And again, maybe things like that are necessary for him to go forward in a positive, quote-unquote, manner. And uh, that's what will bring about the attitude change. So, hopefully in 2015, we can see Phil actually stick to his guns this time. Here's hoping. Um, and yes, please respect my wishes. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not disabling comments, likes, or dislikes. Those are all open. I am not replying to any comments, though. Feel free to talk amongst yourselves, but I don't, you know, I'm, I'm just going to let this video it. get, what, 8,000 views over the course of five years? And in private because Turbin watching it on his stream. So I hope I address wow. everything. I hope there wasn't like one big topic. That's I phenomenal. Missed, you like, know what? That's Monday and Matt. That's actually just Monday and Matt. Oh shit, people talking about this one or two guys talking about this old video I put out a long time ago. Let me get rid of it. That's actually just Monday and Matt. Big missed up. this, but again, yes, I know Big there's up. probably many things specific dark side Phil things I didn't talk about, but I wanted to talk about no, the main lingering things that have been going on, on lately. What? In 2014, as a whole, ESP tipped one dollar. Uh, there is this sick mother gingerly on the internet named Turvin. You won't believe what I did. He harflowers my old friend until he pervaded his video. Snake laugh, snake laugh, snake laugh. <laughs> no, you dumb bitch, it wasn't fraudulent. That's gonna what? be three months from now. Offset when he playing like they do anything for gout. I don't even know some they battle royale shit. Gout. They do anything for gout. You they what do he anything did? for gout. He had to private his video because of their harassment. Okay, I've talked about things before uh. that in other videos, you know, so this is I've talked about the pertinent stuff, you know, maybe there's some other you know frivolous random thing that I forgot, but the main stuff is here. Alright, and that's what's important. And, yeah, the main you know, stuff is I, it. Right, I'm buddy. sure there is something out there that might have slipped my mind, but it's it's fine. I got the points. My main point has come across. I know video. I deleted it, though. I figured that's it out. It's because I didn't like okay. it. So, thank you very much, everybody. And I will see you guys later. I don't know about that. If you are a fan of my content or I not. Am. If not, then I will see you on the Twitterverse or somewhere else. Somewhere. I'm sure. Alright. Very nice. Very fucking nice. Well, thank you for showing up to your, to the stream. I didn't I didn't get to watch what I wanted to, because we complete this stream was a nonsense, just complete nonsense. And then he private the video while I'm like in the middle of watching it. It was all all odd, very odd stream. Uh, yeah, he private it in midstream. I said I was gonna watch it yesterday, and after that, I was like, maybe I shouldn't have said that, but whatever, because I watched it on the stream anyway. And it got private while I was in the middle of watching it. But because I'm a terrible individual, I had already downloaded the video anyway. Maybe next time, darknesses. Well, I don't know what I can call you besides that. Maybe next time, Mary Lord. But, uh, hopefully, you had fun seeing your real, really, that's not right, seeing your really old take on DSP, I guess. Can't change who you are, I guess. And, uh, 
this pretty much ought to be like pre-stream time for LSB stream, so you can go watch them if you want to, but I'm done for now. I'll watch the stupid ass the kings next time. And uh, if you missed some of the stream, make sure to subscribe to the archive channel because there's a link to that in the description. So I guess if Harry Law want to really do something, he got a flag bet. Oh well, F and chat. I need a, a classic for the last song. No, you dumb bitch, it wasn't fraudulent. Why? Mundane Aryan tipped $1. Okay, guys. There's not gonna be any Walking Dead tonight. I'm gonna have to talk about this Tazic black dude. He's always hated me because he I like Dave. PLZ flag him and report him. Thanks. He can pull a LTG and just straight up tell the chat to flag something. But he gotta have a chat to talk to. No, no. Just look at all the fun these individuals having. Feels good, man. So these little dances he always do. He's just having fun. They remind me of Rich Homie Clark. And the classic line, racked up like Serena. Feels good. Sparks. Thank you for all the support today, man. Well, I think it's a good one. Let me see. Oh, I'm definitely not streaming tomorrow. I forgot to say that. I'm not streaming tomorrow. Probably a stream Saturday. You know what? I might stream tomorrow, early in the day. I don't know yet. But not I stream Saturday. I actually have to turn off the stream, don't I? <laughs> I'm like, later and peace out. Lean back. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, I have to turn the fucking stream off. Duh.